All Yo. hail the Germans. This is a German stream, right Doug? Why else would you be ranking commercials from the German city Cologne? It's actually pronounced Köln. God. Fake German fans in chat. Jesus. Or Köln? I don't know how they say it. Germans do not say it as Cologne. Is Doug's cologne better than his coding? Probably. Today he will be tasting both to find out. <laughs> Doug will be eating cologne. Live on stream. I don't know how you pronounce, I know it's like Köln, but I don't know how you pronounce it as a uh, hot-blooded, God-fearing, freedom-loving German. Wait, where is, um... Huh? Oh, there it is. Hello, welcome to another episode of Doug. Sorry for streaming a little bit late today. My schedule is just so off nowadays. Uh, someone is masquerading as you. Uh, no Ramoitra. Thank you so much for the one year. I you appreciate check it. Check the official Instagram for Tiltify. You were listed as one of the top oh, donors really? of the year on their page today. That's cool. I mean, I don't like use Instagram. I might start using Instagram. I've been I've been told I should start using Instagram. Are you going to try the top rank in Cologne on Parkza when he's back from Vegas? <laughs> I was, okay, that wasn't the plan, but I think I should, I like, have to buy the top rank Cologne. Hey, 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 Doug. Thank God you arrived. I've been edging for a solid 45 minutes now and I... Oga. Oh lordy. All right, oh let's lordy, not fucking... Let's not... Oh, sweet mother of Christ. Talk about cr Mary hog Poppins cranking. Her umbrella, I'm gonna... Ooh, ooh. I can't believe I actually won the fucking Gotham Dougie with a predictable clip. That was I'm a good clip. Honored. Since I as an individual won, I'll be expecting my trophy in the mail shortly. Also consider this my invoice for my cut of the YouTube short and eventually the 2023. You need cologne. Yeah. You're smelly. With love I'd come on. PS. It was a great clip. Shower, you're smelly and you smell. Unfortunately, YouTube shorts make no money. They make like, we had a short that got a million views and it made like $70. Connoisseur of crayons, thank you for the one year, I appreciate it. We were going to do a bit where, I mean actually maybe I shouldn't spoil this, but we were going to do a bit where- Hey, Dad, um, why are you never at my games? Mom won't tell me why. I am there, I just, I watch with binoculars from a distance. Don't worry, I'm always watching you. I thought it'd be funny. Does it ruin the fun? Eh, whatever. I'll just say it. So, Barry and I had the idea that because we had a short get a million views and it made like $70, and we were like, holy shit, there's no money in shorts at all. We thought it'd be funny to then spend the $70 making another short, and then we're like, this short was made using the revenue from the previous short. And then however much money that short makes, we make a new short, and we just keep going, and we just see how long we can chain it. And ideally, it, like, fluctuates a lot, so, like, really shitty. Wait, why is Pug an emote? Did you add that, Darknut? Uh... Tureen, I think we can try removing the repeated punctuation thing for now. Hey, Doug. I'm an amateur Maybe. perfumer, so this stream is made for me, right? I'm a floral and spicy kind of gal. I mean, sort of. This is, this is for the fragrance lovers, I guess. This is not really about... Loving cologne, by the hey, way. Doug, I'm not cranking my hog, just wanted to let you know. Thank you. You know what? Let's just go ahead and say nobody needs to give any hog cranking updates. Let's just assume that nobody's cranking their hog. Taco Salsoy, thank you for the one year. Five minute cologning adventure. Can we have a gamble of whether the cologne the actually gets rid of your putrid odor? I'm in your world, Red Phantom, so thank you for the know. two years. Hold on. My putrid odor is partially what makes me so successful as a streamer. It makes you guys think of me whenever you smell it. Is gonna hit real different. I will say... Um... Th this might make you guys disappointed in me, but, um... I, uh... I might graduate from really shitty, low-quality, cheap olive oil from a store. Um... And I, you know, I... Is that gonna make you guys think less of me? Uh, my, my girlfriend got me a 
really fancy, really nice basil and olive oil infusion olive oil from France, and it's incredibly delicious. It's so much better than fucking <laughs> cheap olive oil that I buy at the store. And now I feel like I, I'm worried I'll become a snob and I won't be relatable anymore. And I feel like that's why you guys, that's the only reason anybody watches this channel, because I'm relatable. Because I chug olive oil uh, from like a cheap plastic, and I like the cheap stuff, right? I like the mafia level. You cheated on us. Doug. There's currently a full-on civil war happening on the subreddit right now. That's fine. I, they'll deal with it. I'm, I can't get involved with every civil war or that happens in the community, all right? Anyway, um, I hey, can Doug, have some right now snorp. to make you guys feel involved with the, um, with the olive oil. Unsubscribing because of... <laughs> uh. I'm unsubscribing from the OnlyFans right hey, now. Doug, since you can move obs elements with code, can you turn yourself into a 2D platformer? You know, it's not a bad idea. Alright, depending on how long Cologne commercial takes, I'll probably- I have been playing- this is another weird thing that- like, I feel like I'm dropping like a lot of bombs on you guys today. Olive hey, Doug, oil- can you give stinky Twitch chat some Cologne as well? <laughs> YouTube chat thinks they smell bad. Love Rumu, thank you very much. Um, here's another bomb to drop on you guys. Wrong thing, I meant to play this one. Uh, I already forgot it. What were we talking about? Something about... Oh, 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 that's it. Okay. No, 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 not the girlfriend thing. Um, olive oil, first off, I might be up upgrading to higher quality olive oil. Which just, you know, ruins some of my, uh, <laughs> layman charm. And then the second thing is that I've started playing Hollow Knight, and I really like it a lot. Heaven Clarence, thank you for the one year, I appreciate it. Like, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. So, I kind of don't want to play it on stream, because then it will stop being a fun game I'm playing on my own. But, I might do, depending on how, how long Cologne, uh commercial tier list takes us. I might do Hollow Knight, but if I die, the stream ends, because I'm literally not dying. I've fought, like, five bosses, and I've one-shot all of them. Like, literally every single boss, I have one shot, and it hasn't even been close. Except for Hornet. I died to her four times. But literally every boss, like, not a single death and not even close. So, I feel like I could do Hollow Knight, but the stream ends if I die, and it will just go on for eight hours. So I'll prove to you guys I'm going to 2D platformers after the Cologne tier list, maybe, probably, depending on how long things are I'm taking. I'm European and we don't have Cologne. Is it stuff that you put on your penis? You're thinking of a condom, um, or the German city of Cologne. But, we're no, Cologne is like a nice scent, uh, okay? Um, you know what, here, let me, let me get, let me get some. Hey, Doug. Fun fact, my friend's computer speakers were broken for months, but then he watched your stream once and it magically fixed itself. You have magic computer powers. Well, I have a computer science degree. This is like when you get a computer science degree, and then your aunt is like, Oh, you have a computer science degree? Can you help fix my computer? The emails aren't working. And I'm like, that's not what they teach you in computer science. <laughs> you, you learn how to program compilers. You don't fucking tag, do tech support. Like... Hey Doug. All right, we're we'll gonna start planning out your date night. Don't forget to unbutton your jacket and sit down. <laughs> no, we're not. But I will purchase. We have a bunch of colognes to uh, cologne commercials to watch today, and then I'll purchase whatever Why cologne. Would commercials about the city of Cologne make you feel emasculated. I'm so excited about this. I love cologne commercials. Not that I ever like make an effort to watch them, really. But I, whenever you watch them, they're so fucking ridiculous. So I can't wait. Can you do Hollow Knight? It's true. I but I act like I'm not streaming and just not acknowledge us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's true. You just smell it wafting in. They're the weirdest shit ever. Right, right, exactly. All right, let me close uh, Discord. The commercial for our floor on red made me feel like I needed to buy like 14 cubic tons of it. Right, right. That's the thing. Okay, because, okay, just to be clear what we're doing today. Today is not about what is the best cologne. That's not it at all. Uh, Perry has put together 17 cologne commercials, and it's just about how emasculated do you feel. So this would be like, I need this to be a man. 
right? This is all like we're, we're like, how much does this use toxic masculinity to make you feel like nobody will accept you unless you purchase this cologne? Teflon, thank you for the one year. That's that's our standard, okay? And then I don't know what the like. I guess the lowest on the list is like, um, the lowest in the list is like. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, hold on, I gotta. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, yeah. Huh? What? Oh, because the F is, okay. And then the worst, the, the, the worst commercials are going to be like. <laughs> right? Like the worst one is like, oh, you know what? I'm actually, I really like myself and I'm happy with who I am. This would mean the commercial completely failed, right? We the commercial has to make us feel extremely bad about ourselves. <laughs> Geoholic, thanks so much here. I also I don't want this to be like super ma like only masculine, right? Um, but it feels like these commercials definitely lean into like toxic masculinity tropes. But don't worry, to all the ladies watching, uh, this, these commercials will also make you feel like you need this to be a man. Doug, you're one spot above QT Cinderella. First we beat Google, now we beat QT. Let's aim for number one next year slash. Isn't that the point of cologne? I don't know how most women feel about cologne. I don't know if they feel like it's part of their hey, uh, repert struggles. potential repertoire Why are or not. You hogging my crank? All right, I'm all right. trying to get zooted. No Ooh. hog, no hog talk. Just well, let's steer clear of hog talk for a while. Also. You have to do a perfume one too, but the perfume perfume commercials aren't as insane, right? They aren't. I had a funny at least idea to me, they don't AR relate stream. as much to. Considering it's a U.S. election year, you should host a debate between two insane AI presidents. But I know you don't like politics, so this might not be for you. I do actually care about politics, for the record. It's hey, just Doug, I don't like. I'm definitely doing nothing peculiar at this moment. I'm totally not performing unspeakable acts upon my sensitive flesh region. And I, I know, definitely let's... don't watch your VODs every night because your soft voice gets me in the mood. <sighs> Dude, this really not. Don't let's not. Let's not do it. Your own olive oil at home. Just throw herbs in the bottle. No hog talk, all right? I know it's just Valentine's Day and you're, uh, and you're feeling lonely still, maybe. But no hog talk. New rule. All right. Um, oh, let me... We can't think any less Why of you when we are always disappointed. It's okay. <laughs> Mom got you hooked on fancy oil. You get her hooked on divorce. <laughs> oh, you think that's that's the girlfriend I referenced? <laughs> okay, uh, let me throw on some sick ass hey, music. Doug, drink some now so we can see if we like it. I'll drink some olive oil. <laughs> It'll make you guys think I'm more of a man. As you know, this entire stream is about me trying to justify my masculinity to random strangers on the internet. Okay. While we're. Okay, okay, I'll get some in a sec. Here, I am gonna grab a little YouTube chat. Let me give you a line. Boom, there you go. Welcome. Uh, as a reminder, YouTube chat. Uh... As I've stated several times, it is not feasible for me to have both chats fully visible on stream. There's not enough space, and I am not able, per the rules, to combine the two chats. So, one line is going to be the max, generally, unless we're doing, like, a very YouTube-heavy stream. Uh, as incredibly funny as it is to say over and over and over and over, no chatation without representation, it is extremely not funny anymore because it's been going on for a month. So, uh, please offer actual relevant commentary to the stream, for the love of God, otherwise I'll probably remove the line. But, thank you for being here, YouTube chat, I appreciate you. I hope you guys are enjoying the YouTube streams. Um, okay. Get Next them out of here. Know he'll be chugging olive oil cologne and $80 olive oil Look, soaps. YouTube, I'm doing this against their wishes, okay? I am making sure you guys have a line, despite the, fur the fervor with which Twitch chat uh, asphyxiates about it. Oh, Doug, my sweet boy, you've betrayed us all, going to the side of pricey olive oil. What did we do to deserve these digressions? You and my brother, Doug. Why, pour an olive oil for the boys. 
Okay. I thought that I'm your girlfriend. I'm leaving and taking the cats. <laughs> you can keep the kids. I don't want the kids. You take them. Uh, we exactly. Somebody in YouTube chat said we need to be limited because we're too hey, powerful. Can you code a billion exactly. so that it audibly reads a text to speech in your house? Oh, like a fish? That would be funny. I do like that idea a lot. Ding dong, I have been watching for years and you helped me get over my parents' divorce. With that being said, can we get highly TF2 man reaction? Please and big gig, please, please. Uh, no, because I don't know what that is and we already have other things going on. All right, we do need Good to come afternoon. up. Doug, I love being banned. I love it when I was banned for two hours. Mods, could you? It gave me a rush. Can you I help him out? Alive. Thank you, Doug, for fueling my addiction and jumping stuff. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are already, I'm pretty sure, really far behind on alerts. Please resist the temptation to send money and have it talk until something is actually happening, until we've started. Just hold off on money for a little bit. Uh, I'll probably go back to the system where text to speech is muted until we start the game, because otherwise we start with like an hour long delay, which is dumb. Just, just wait Can't until wait things are ha nothing's happening. Colons. Whose colon are we looking at first? Right, now this is a col <laughs> it's a colon tier list. We're going to be diving deep into some of the most famous colons of all time. Hey Doug, I know this may come as a shock, but none of us actually chug olive oil, so it doesn't really matter hey, what hey, kind hey, of olive oil hey, you chug. This is a safe space. You can admit it. You chug olive oil, alright? Like, I won't, I won't judge you here. Here in the Doug Doug community, you're allowed to admit that you go chug cheap olive oil from the store, especially Star Olive Oil, which is literally run by the mafia and watered down with like fake grapes or whatever, or olives probably. <laughs> you should launch your own you olive oil brand. Okay. Cash in the trash. Treat me. Thank you so much for the two years. Appreciate it. Let's do a quick. Let's do a very quick poll. What I would like you guys to do is please answer this hey, honestly. Doug, have you seen the new OpenAI announcement where you can make a 30 seconds movie based on the prompt? No. That sounds cool. Um. You should only drink the fancy olive oil for special occasions. Like the cologne tier list. Let's say uh, the Doug Doug olive oil. Let's say I, I par partnered with the brand and actually did this, which is not probably, it presumably will not happen. Let's say it was like twenty dollars for a bottle, like the size of a soda can or something. So it's not it's, it's not cheap. I don't think I'd be able to make it cheap. Would you purchase a Doug Doug olive oil merch? Doug, we wait, know wait, you wait, 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 no, no, about no, a girlfriend. no, 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 new, new, Your new poll. Virginity is obvious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm doing new, new, two new categories. Yes, because I want it. Yes. But only now to support you. You're not available. You're I don't no actually interested. want this. Come on, chat. Let's go. Okay, these are the options. One is no, you wouldn't buy it. Two is yes, you actually would want it. And three is like, you'd begrudgingly <laughs> be like, hey, Doug, fine. Now that you're drinking fancy olive oil, can you recommend a good wine pairing for chugging olive oil as a romantic dinner? Yeah. I want my oil dinner to be exquisite. What you do is you go to, you go to Trader Joe's and you buy the $2 Chuck Schumer wine. You pair that with a nice star olive oil, the plastic stuff. Chromance, thank you for the 12 months. You pair that with a nice star olive oil, and you just alternate back and forth until one of the two bottles is done. That's what we call circle of death. The ladies love it. And the boys. Everybody loves it. Um, okay, so 50% of you would actually want a Doug Doug olive oil. Interesting. Sue, thank you for... Sue, SSB, thank you so much for the one year. I appreciate it. Is your girlfriend also bald? <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommend going to Italy in Century City to have vials of bougie olive oil. There's an olive oil store, I showed this on stream, outside of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Like, right down the road. Like, 300 feet or something. So I went there and chugged olive oil outside of Monterey Bay Aquarium. I'm already feeling emasculated by the inferior olive oil I'm drinking. True. Him, C Fly, thank you for the one year, man. I appreciate it. Um... Dedicated. I mean, we could do an olive oil tasting stream. I'm surprised that only 25% of you guys wouldn't buy my olive oil. We do have cool to actual merch coming out soon, which I'm excited about. Metroidvanias like Hollow Knight. Um, apparently, I, I feel like I'm pretty good at it. There are stores that just sell olive oil. Yes, there are olive oil stores. 
I assume they're more common in Europe, but I've seen two of them now. There's definitely some in LA and there's one in Monterey. Like all, hey, just Doug, olive oil. First time contributing. Don't hmm. see how adverts about a town in Germany would make you feel emasculated, but excited nonetheless. <laughs> okay. Let's add in. Am I an editor of this? Hey, Doug. I'm sorry you have to deal with all those uncivilized <laughs> hog for Cologne, the Germany. The thing is that you have high-class meat beaters like me to even out the community. What did you say? I don't want no no talking about beef or any kind of meat. You <laughs> this is now a vegetarian to have a stream. Friend, while you are streaming, oh. that is against TOS. You can keep her, but you have to break up with her every time you start streaming. Otherwise, Twitch is coming for you. <laughs> and I got it. Yeah, I didn't. Realize that I hadn't looked at the terms of service, hey, but that makes sense. They would update that. Boy, to that two platformers. Okay. I heard you guys needed me, and here I am. Dig While the two D platformers, uh, got him. Thank you. I feel that um, Douglas maybe do the YSL long one. The guy is basically getting stalked. YSL L home one. YSL L home. Is that in here? Well, these are spoilers, actually. I am very masculine. I am very masculine. Okay. I am very masculine. So we need I am very masculine. to come up with the... I am very masculine. That's basically what this whole stream is. We need to come up with the names of the tier lists. Um, so, again, the goal of this... Hey, Doug. When let me pause you became a an uncle, you specifically said that you wanted to give us the yearly updates on your sister's vagina, as a child had just appeared from it. I was just wondering, can we get a new update on her nether regions? The science. Um, I'm a fanboy. No need to feel masculine. Y yeah, but does it make you like crafted by Hales? Thank you for the twelve months. I don't know. For somebody who's not trying to be masculine at all, I, I don't know what come out clone commercials Dom, do Dom, to you. You, you know, my depression for my parents' divorce. Slash, can we get TF two oily man reaction, please? In beginning. Nope. But thank you for the suggestion. I do love TF two videos, just not really on stream. All right, I'm uh. Second to last tier should be I'm a femboy. <laughs> I think, okay, look, here. here. The, the, the goal of this is to rank these commercials not by how good the cologne smells, but by how much I feel like I need this in order to be a man, right? How much does it, how much does it cue into like toxic masculinity to make me feel bad about myself, right? Um, so we need tiers that represent that. And at the very bottom, like the worst commercial would be like, you know what? I'm happy with my self image. I don't need cologne to feel better about myself. And at the, if it's a really good commercial, good commercial, it'll be, I need this to be a man. What is the in between here? What are the other, like, I drink a beer with this guy. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I guess. All right. Let's go. Let's go from the, from the top down. I need this. What is the next category below? I need this to, to be a man. I think it's it's less about how feminine you feel, and it's more your self-image. Like, how self-conscious and unhappy with yourself do you feel, right? I think that's more it, rather than you feel masculine to feminine. That's not really what it is, right? But we're not, are we rating the men in the commercial? I think it's how, it's how, how it makes me feel. Um, like, okay, number two could be like, Henry Cavill wears this. No, that's it's too. Again, that it needs to be about like what it makes me feel. So what is below? Like I need this. Um. I think maybe in the middle it's like. Fuck, this is weird. As your local neighborhood trans girl, I feel like I have no say in where this goes. Yeah, I mean, look, I haven't watched any of these in a long time. Really, I just I just know the extremes. It's hard to it's hard to express this. Um Yeah, it could just be I I would be so masculine. I mean that's simple. But that works. That gets the idea across, right?
Let me get some shitty ones out there. What's the, uh... I think this is, here it's like, I just feel better wearing this. It's just straight up like, yeah, you know what? I'd feel, I'd feel more masculine. It's nothing, it's not like, it's not strong. I'm not like, oh my God, but it'd be like, yeah. I'd, wait, no, no, it's like, I'd feel a bit more masculine. I, wait, wait, wait. I'm happy with my self-image is this one, and then... I would feel even worse about myself. Okay, so the the, the bottom category is like, <laughs> I feel shittier, right? Um, okay, so the very bottom is like, I would feel worse with this cologne. Then it's like, you know what? I'm happy with my self-image. I don't actually need this cologne. Then it's like, I feel like I'd, I'd be a bit more masculine wearing this, you know? And then uh, this one needs to change. The bros thing I'm at is not strong. And then, uh, holy shit. Everyone will love will love me. Love is a strong word. Will think I'm hot. And then uh I am not a real <laughs> Okay, and this one is I am not a real man without this cologne. Like, this is just straight up, like, this taps into, you are a piece of shit. Okay, what is, the bros would think I'm rad. This is, like, midway through, right? Where's the femboy tier? Again, I don't think it's about f feeling feminine, right? It's just about how much does it, how much does it tap into shitty masculinity tropes to make you feel bad about yourself. It's all about self-image, right? It's not about masculinity or femininity. I don't think so. It's about it's about self-image. Um, <laughs> what about one is just, the middle one is like, you know, I'm pretty unhappy with myself. Like it, it's just it just kind of like down the road, down the line makes me feel bad, right? <laughs> It's not necessarily like masculinity specifically. It's just like, yeah, I just feel worse. <laughs> okay. Um, is this, I think that, is, did the lineup make sense here? Oh, I got to make this tier list a little taller. And I got to stretch this. Okay, let's play some alerts and then we'll start watching commercials. Hey, Doug. Me and my girlfriend did the horizontal hanky panky with we your don't. pajama Sam video we in the background. Just don't need that. Thanks, homie. Doug, <sighs> Obsidian Pillars back. Did you? I I hope you lasted the whole movie. Okay, these feel like good. These feel like good tears. I feel like we're we're good to go here. Fun fact. The difference between the amount of essential Thank you, quick sparse, I got it. Is fewer essential oils and last shorter than perfumes. The difference between the amount of essential oils used, Colin. Huh. Yeah, no, for for real, I really don't want to make jacking hey, off Dunza. during the stream a joke. I had an idea I wanted to float by you before executing on your behalf. Find the most obscure streaming platform you can and just see who makes it to the stream. Can't wait to see your stream on MySpace. Hey, Dunza, oh, that would be funny. Are you that going is a good to the bathroom today? If so, don't forget to unbutton your pants before taking a nice long and steamy pee. You don't want your girlfriend to think that you've been pissing yourself again. See, you used the word again there, and I'm just if not... If the commercial doesn't make me feel like the ending scene of the movie Perfume, the story of murder and not buying it. Also, femininity and masculinity aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah, exactly. I don't... I, I feel like this is less about... tropes... And more about self -image. As a massive fan of Hollow Knight, seeing you finally discover how great it is makes me rejoice. Now I have to go back and play another Hollow Knight randomizer. Ooh, Hollow Knight so. randomizer. Interesting. I like the idea of that. 
All right, I'm gonna pull up the first one. Hey Doug, I just got home. home from my grueling job at a cologne manufacturing plant. I can't wait to watch a fun, completely unrelated stream. Anyway, what are we doing today? Uh, we're just looking at Cedric Diggory talk about Dior Home. Hog update, my hog is currently happily eating some corn. His name is Jeffrey. He's my son and I love him. Okay, the text-to-speech alerts are very far behind. Uh, I really need to start muting them early on. Uh, or at the beginning of the stream. You missed because... an opportunity of calling this stream the Cologne Wars. Or... Did I? Why do you not want to talk about hogs? Wait, why would I? Did you know that wild Hold on, why, why are we calling this? Ten inches below the soil. Is it meant? Can you do that, coward? Wild boars are so destructive, dude. Is this a reference to Star Wars? What is even the? I Thanks for it. inspiring me to go to college for coding. In unrelated news, can I invoice you for my incoming psychological trauma? Yeah, yeah. Just type exclamation mark refund and. And uh, Twitch will send you the money. Just drop your credit card number, social security okay, number, Doug, and mom's main I've name to the chat. I've spent years saving up three dollars to finally <laughs> tell you my favorite fact about pigs. Okay, here goes wait. No hog talk? Yeah. At all? Nope. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I love I love Texas speech hey, messages Doug, where midway through you guys are like, Oh Sephora. wait, sorry, I shouldn't do this. And and women's you send it. cosmetics products are marketed specifically towards people's insecurities. Yeah, yeah. Look, I should preface this by th by saying I don't think it's a good thing to target people's insecurities, to be clear. I but it is funny to me, and so that's what I want to talk about today. Or what I want to review. Uh but yes, obviously a lot of a lot of uh, consumerism in general is about that. As a 5 feet 11 inches woman, I enjoy cologne because my goal is to be an emasculating threat to any and everyone I meet as needed. I too can be a dapper gentleman. I feel emasculated just listening to your text speech message. The reason Doug is so apolitical on stream is because he's secretly part of the Rhinoceros Party of Canada. Uh, I didn't realize that until now, but apparently yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Doug wants to target insecurities, right? I am targeting all of your insecurities. Slash work. Slash BT dubs, I got banned my first stream. Love you, Doug. Thank you, DJ. All right, I might mute the text-to-speech because otherwise we're never going to get through it. Did you tell everyone I bullied you into getting cologne recently? Of men's I, the, 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 the start... And worn by women. The no, I will give that context before we watch this. Evenly between men purchasing for themselves and women purchasing for their partners. Interesting. Okay, we'll watch the first commercial, and we then... We got to see you drink the extra virgin olive oil. Um... Cedric Diggory is pretty masculine, though. This is, this is a, this is a, Can one this is a sexy dude. Can one of the categories be air? I work out. <laughs> but that's like... That's not... <laughs> YouTube chat and Twitch chat must join together. We cannot let Diablo the Cheetah divide us. We must stand united against the Tyrant Pepper. Okay, so this one's just, you know hey, what? Dougie, I'm pretty happy with myself. I've been having this issue with my BIOS and I thought you could take a look at it. Uh, yeah, no, that's what a, compu that's what a computer science degree does. It's, it's debugging your BIOS. As a content creator, FC, SFGS, in YouTube chat. I think browser extensions are fine, personally, because uh, I I uh, make enough money that I don't need people to be watching tons of ads. Hey, Doug, <clears throat> I lost my virginity while watching your stream. Oh, yeah, you know, I was wondering if you could help me steal it back. Okay, we, are, we do need, we're going to go on a heist to steal back your V-card. Okay. Will we be rating any semi colonges? <laughs> That's bad. That's a bad joke. All right. <clears throat> What's the most masculine song I have to preface this? Does your GF of cats? Us basement dwellers want a cat and you refuse, you get one for us. Yes. She's a pretty fucking great cat. Okay. 
Get a giraffe. Oh, the Who song. Yeah, yeah. That's Dad, pretty. That's more caveman. Or divorce, sing all ten thousand of us. Will I still see you on the weekend? Oh, I see. I'm busy that weekend. Uh, which one is it? It's Unforgiven from Tekken Five. I, I can't wait to listen to the Tekken Eight soundtrack. And I bet there's some good ass songs. I'd like y'all to know that the manliest man I know is my butch girlfriend, lesbian pride. Hell yeah, hell yeah, brother. <clears throat> All right, now all you guys know me as a God fearing, freedom loving, football drinking, beer watching American man. <clears throat> but I was talking to my friend the other month, <laughs> uh, and it turns out it's weird i i don't know if any guys knew this turns out it's weird if you're a 33 year old man and you've never used cologne in your entire life and that's not talking about me somebody else <clears throat> and so suddenly this friend of mine that was told this by their girlfriend um was um <clears throat> realized oh shit i have to get some cologne if i want to be a real man so um this friend of mine picked up this uh our aqua de joe from george armani and it smells great, according to him. <laughs> um, but this same friend realized, you know what? They're really not very familiar with colognes at all. And so I, what, what we're going to do today is Perry, my wonderful producer, has put together 17 cologne commercials. We're going to watch all of them. We're going to feel which one of them makes me feel like I need it to be a man and emasculates me the most. And whichever gets the highest rated, I will purchase. And then I will use the entire bottle before going to my girlfriend's house next. <laughs> Which she'll fucking hate. Okay. Um, let's kick this off with... Um, it's your home. I am your man. <clears throat> Chat, get ready. Get your... get Emotionally center yourself, right? Think about who you are, where you are in your in your in your life, and how satisfied you are. And now watch this commercial. If you want a lover, I'll do anything you ask. Are they porking under the table? And if you want another kind of love, he's just oh, staring. Yeah. What? Dude, this is insane. Ask. He's just. I never do that when I walk down the street. I don't just like fucking look brutally into the eyes of like random strangers and then like wrap around my girl jeez wait see then looking at the same guys here hold on if you want okay these dudes it looks like he's gonna get into a gang fight kind of <laughs> and then he's immediately having sex okay for you. but he's he's not thinking about her seemingly he's thinking about the three men on the street <laughs> Okay, now they're. If you want a partner, take my hand. Okay, now he's having a seizure. Oh my god! I've never done that. Oh no, he's dancing. Here I stand. I'm your man. Damn, dude. John, and your fragrance. I feel like I, I. That was pretty emasculating, dude. I've never that's I've that's so much cooler than my life. Damn. Okay. Fuck, that's high. Like that's a high opener. I okay, part of it here here's what I'll say. Part of the problem here is that what, what's his name? It's not Cedric Diggory. What is this guy's name? It was creepy. It's kind of creepy. It's not Batman. <laughs> Whatever, I'll call him Batman. Part of the part of the thing is I really like Batman. Like he's genuinely super fucking cool. Um, so I already am starting from a position of like, that guy's sick as hell. And then this is just like, can this is probably just candid footage of what he does in his life. I, what I'm what I, what I find compelling is that he is, I'll do anything. I mean, that's just insane. They're like in a restaurant. <laughs> <Both is> <laughs> so, like that's, that's very, that's very masculine. Like I've certainly never pulled a date under a table and started uh, having coitus. Okay, and then he's... So he spends a lot of time shirtless looking over the city, which I've never done. And if you want another kind of love, 
Because it feels like he's like, okay, do you want to be the kind of man who's alternating between like ridiculous sex in ridiculous places and then just like glaring at other people and looking down on them like this guy so here's what here's what i feel like this would maybe do if i'm walking down the street and i'm wearing this cologne i would look at them i would look at any other person and just be like i'm fucking better than you and i would look down on them you know what i mean like just straight up like you're a piece of shit you know yeah he doesn't look happy <laughs> he doesn't look like he's enjoying any of this Oh, we're a man. <laughs> not having fun right now. <laughs> He's like, this is what I have to do to be a man. For you. But he probably rented out that whole restaurant so that he could pork underneath it. Yeah, this is okay, but this is good, right? Like, it's also, it's also tapping into like, you better not have emotions, you fucking coward. You wear this cologne. And you walk around glaring at men and having emotionless sex under a restaurant table. If you want a partner, this part, this part throws. Okay, this part is what I think is going to throw me. For I, it would have been a I'm not a real man without this cologne, but I think it's going into holy shit. Everyone will think my hot. I'm hot tier because of this. This nothing about this makes me want to be this. I don't feel my self image is not attacked or hurt by this. I. This stuff, I don't. If you wanna it, this, and then, yeah. Down in anger. Okay, if I saw a guy doing this at a party, I'd be like, okay, he is on a lot of drugs. But I wouldn't be like, oh, he's so masculine. You know, I wouldn't be like, man, if only I could be that guy. Here I stand. Maybe, maybe this, the weird like spiral kiss on a beach, but. I'm your man. Look at this. Like, he he is looking. Like, right now, I would say it's like it maybe would be down and I'd feel a bit more masculine wearing this after the dance thing. But then he gets back up into B tier by looking at me right now. And you can tell Batman thinks I'm a piece of shit, right? You can tell Batman if we're walking down the street, he's going to look down at me and just, like, do this. And keep walking. And then hold his girlfriend. And they'll, like, right in front of me, they'll drop down on the floor and do a spiral and start porking, right? I think I think this is solid, solid B tier is how I would feel about this. Or like second tier. You really should give YouTube chat another line. I am but a simple Twitch viewer, but those plebeians should be allowed one more line to silence their fruitless revolution. This is the first one. We just don't have space. There's no I space. I always knew you were a Wait, fancy, boo? first pressing olive oil kind of guy. Nothing says Doug Doug like extra virgin. Oh, you're talking about the YouTube side. Okay, I'm putting this. What is the name of this again? Dior home. Hey Doug. I'm putting solidly into holy shit. Everyone YouTube will think I'm hot. Moved over here to Twitch chat. I love my family and Twitch chat, but to my family and YouTube chat, we are better. Okay, I'll YouTube let you guys vote. Gang for life. Are we? Is are we going off of your votes or mine? See my messages on screen, Doug. You think lower? That was a good commercial. You hate the spiral. The spiral is. I think what they're doing, I think what the spiral and the restaurant thing does and the, when they're like porking uh, against the ceiling or against the glass window is it's making me, it's making me like, wow, my sex life is so boring, right? I think that's a good, that's a strong part of it to be like, hey, you random man, do you do this? Do you stand naked in front of New York City and look out after, se presumably right after sex? You know what I mean? Like. That's, I, I think it's a strong, I think it's a strong way to emasculate. Okay, I will let you guys vote though. My work colleagues, dad chugs and I said excitedly like Doug Doug, and I had to spend my lunch break explaining who you are. I'm 28. It was humiliating. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Let me Game get, let me get the vote. Olive oil. This was meant to be like, how emasculating does this make me feel? Hold on, wait. Are you guys voting on how how emasculated you feel from this commercial or how emasculated you think I feel? In which case, why are you the Doug, ones deciding stream it? Stream idea. Can you connect your legal words code to two other streamers' chats like Point Crow and Germa? Set up a secret word that only you know and see whose chat gets it first? That could be funny. Hey, Dung Dung. Had an idea I wanted to float by you before executing Wait, these, on Wait, these two are behalf. too similar. Find the most obscure streaming site you can and stream there for a day and see who makes it. See you on MySpace. 
I think this this needs to be stronger. Um, Hello, Douglas. Douglas, first time cheerer. What in the holy hell did I arrive to? Pat your mega pain. I heard it was your birthday. Happy birthday, Douglas. Douglas. Something like this. I'm virgining different olive oil stream when? We, we need... It's not my birthday, but thank you. This needs to be a little stronger. What is in between, holy shit, everyone will think I'm hot, and I'd feel a bit more masculine wearing this? Hey, Doug. How about I need this to be a man is the same tier as I would fuck this man for the gays and women out there? I think that's the subtext, I guess. But I still think it's more about self-image and not how hot do you this find the guy. so good no one will notice how bored and ugly I am. Sushi Badger, thank you for the one year, man. Um. Yeah, okay. We have a rank that man could steal my girlfriend. We don't, but you can put that as subtext when you're thinking about the vote. I'm watching this while editing. I'm already feeling emasculated by your bald and blonde head. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> bald and blonde. How about this? Or no, no, no. I could, I could get a I modeling gig. On the first no, it's try. not really about modeling. It's about self-image. Wait, like. You, okay, wait. You know what? <laughs> I think I could get that big promotion. Hi, dog, dog. <laughs> New divorcee here. I'm gender fluid. Does that mean I'm emasculated in five minute intervals? Right. That's where you're just like, you know what? I feel like I could do whatever I want. Yeah. That means this you're you're going to fluctuate through tears. Card. This validates my man card. I feel like that's I'm happy with my self image. There's lots of ways to phrase this. Okay, so we have holy shit everyone will think I'm hot. Um Then we have have a category for better than axe body spray. <laughs> that's that's the lowest one though, right? Four thousand seven hundred and eleven is the original cologne from Cologne. No years. idea if That's there is a commercial for it. Value. Interesting. Dan All Luke, thank you for the three years. All right. How do you guys feel about this commercial that we watched? This is weird. Yep. First time a rub dub stream has been weird. Yeah, we get we get a little weird. Dig Dug, it's me, the TF2 guy. I am very sorry, but I have a stream idea. Every 10 minutes, you grab a giant fish and make it flop around on your keyboard. Slash chat, don't tell a Doug, but he is my Valentine. <sighs> Alright. Hey, well, fortunately for you, I wasn't to bring listening. your attention to Alaska Thunderfuck Red for Filth, which what? smells like cocaine. Unfortunately, it's unisex, so emasculation not guaranteed. I think it's just about commercials, though. And I'm sure there's a lot uh, more commercials. Uh, obviously, there are Jeremy more than just 17 commercials. Tic -tics. He's a cologne influencer and wacky guy. I, I think I saw one one time. Um, okay, we're all in agreement that this cologne is going in the holy shit, everyone will think I'm hot tier, which is what I would agree with. I think that's a solid a solid sort of B hey, tier Doug, down the line. I just want to say, wow, I can't believe my cheese counter was a nominee for the five-minute coding adventure. I hope many are more five-minute coding adventures to come in the future. Oh, there will be. Don't worry. Um, congratulations on your win. of these ads are generally sex appeal. Might have an easier time with the scale on that front. I, I think, I think it's more than sex appeal. I really do. I, like, with this last one, obviously sex appeal is a big part of it, of like, look at this hot girl I'm, I'm, like, naked with. But this would be a lot a of it was just like, look at the way I'm dancing in this club, right? I, th I think they try to target more. And if all they do is sex appeal... Like, that's not enough to make me feel super emasculated, right? Like, it needs to it needs to latch on to more of my self-image to really make me feel bad What's about myself. What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle? Slash attire. <clears throat> Chat, can we get a laugh track? Okay, next up is Dior Sauvage. TTS has been becoming increasingly unhinged and fucking weird. 
Can we get a poll on keeping TTS up? Maybe make it more expensive? IDK, people are weird. Yeah, it's been a little, it's been a little strange the past, like, two weeks. I'll probably, I'll just start Peter, not I having text speech on for the first, like, 30 minutes. There we go. Okay. L later in the stream, we will do it. Okay. This one with Johnny. Okay, I haven't seen this one. I, I, I just don't watch, like, TV really anymore, so I b barely know any of these. Um, all right. <clears throat> this next one. Dior Sauvage. <laughs> it, it, too late. Okay, this is a strong opening, though. There's a wolf. this have to do with cologne <laughs> why is he in a desert where the wolf wolves excuse me in the wilderness fearless and human Sauvage. Wow. Deal. Damn. Okay, that was per that was pretty good. Um, I don't, oh, man. I don't feel emasculated by it, but I'm like, fuck. That's the coolest guy in the planet. Like this is. He's not even looking. Like, cool guys don't even look at the wolves that are following them. You know what I mean? Like this. This guy. Okay. I'm gonna ignore Johnny Depp and his reputation. I think it's. Because I think he has enough just off of pure vibes to to sell the like this is an alpha male. This is a funny idea. No one gives you enough credit for being funny. <laughs> Thank you, cutie. Um, I'm gonna be wearing so much of this cologne at the Stream Awards. <laughs> Pirate software is gonna get within ten feet of me and just be like, oh god. Okay. I th here's the thing. I just don't feel emasculated by it. I'm like, god damn, like, I, I would be way more of a man. Like, this is, okay, here's what I feel like. Th this is so much more manly than I could ever be, and I'm worried it's, it's like an unrelatable level. You know what I'm, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, holy shit, that's the coolest guy ever. I couldn't do that. I don't sit in the desert playing guitar with wolves. Right, with, 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 with Cedric, that's thank you, Grim Wizard. With, with Cedric Diggory, it's like, hey, you could have sex under a restaurant table, right? You could go dance in a club like you're on a shitload of drugs and then do a weird spiral kiss on the beach. This, this, like, this is not attainable. It's badass. But I feel like, I feel like it needs to be somewhat relatable for me to be like, oh yeah, I need this. Here, okay, here, here's the distinction. In terms of how cool this guy is, it's S tier, right? But should have been Paul Dano. <laughs> this coolness factor definitely S tier. Does it make me feel bad? Like, okay, he, he is cooler than Cedric Diggory, right? In the previous one. Like, Cedric Diggory is not quite as cool as Johnny Depp in this one. But... But it doesn't make it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't like lean into me. I don't feel bad about it. What do you guys think? I would lean towards, you know what? I think I could get that big promotion. I think it's a really strong commercial that doesn't make me feel like I need this in my life. Hey Doug, make the last year this cologne makes me bad at 2D platformers. <laughs> no, you can you can do this. Wait, really? You guys are going for holy for number one? I'm probably going to go off of my vote and not yours. Hey, Doug. I'm a fish breeder. Hope you don't mind if I fertilize the eggs while watching your stream. <laughs> That's fine. Sure. As long as, as long as it's not humans doing the breeding, then that's fine, I guess. Okay. Hey, it Doug. Thanks for streaming. It's been a really hard day. There was an accident and my brother drowned in a vat of cologne. <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing they, today? They don't make colognes in vats. Um, okay, I'll give it another little Can bit. It looks like number three is catching up. Where the winning commercial I think you can vote for multiple. 
Also da guy with someone or you all cologne. Ha 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 get it. Because you're lonely. <laughs> Thank you. Um Hey Doug. Just got home from my shift at the city in Germany making factory. Can't wait to watch an unrelated stream. Anyway, what are we doing today? Okay, these are basically tied. Get get your get your vote in. I I have a really hard time seeing hey, this Doug, be the top tier. How was your Valentine's Day? Uh -huh. I'm not in a relationship, so it wasn't a big deal. Also, it's not as popular here in Europe. This is something I about- call my hog a drum because it took a bit. Like, okay, alright, alright, alright. No Can more hog talk. top tier and you actually buy that cologne? Yeah, I'll buy whatever the top one is. Okay. It went on for a while, but this is officially going into, you know what, I think I could get that big promotion. Which is how I feel about it. Um, which one is this? Dear Savage here, okay. I, I think this is an accurate- I mean, it's not rigged, I just waited a while for votes to- to go through. I wonder why everybody voted for that. I- I- here. Look, we can go off of your guys' votes. Your guys' votes will decide this, okay? Um... But I will try to influence the votes, okay? That's how we'll do this. Is that I- you decide what is the- the, the cologne that makes me feel the most emasculated, but I will attempt to sway it in a direction. So you could essentially override me, but I will do my best to, uh, convince you that it's a certain tier. Okay. Um... I, I, f I feel like I could wear this cologne, put on a shirt that's like way cooler than what I normally pull off, walk into my boss's office and say, you know what? I've been working for this company for 18 months. Every single report the PMs have given, I've knocked out within our scrum time limit. And I think that I deserve a 5% raise increase. And the extremely awkward programming boss would be like, uh, well, normally we deal with that at the end of Q3, as you know, but but we could talk to, to, to Tim, who, who runs the, the overall management group. I'll circle back with you in a few weeks. And I'd be like, yeah! And then I would walk out feeling really confident about myself. So I, this, is, this very much feels like in that, in that vein. To be clear, I don't think this would get me the promotion. <laughs> I just like I would, I would just like put on a, a shirt that's too fancy for me. You know what I mean? Tim was the name of the division boss when I worked at EA. Hey Doug, I'm gonna go out with my boyfriend. I'm gonna try to get him to watch your stream while you guys are out, like on a date. I feel like there's better things to do, but okay. Okay. Sorry to emasculate you so much, Doug. These cologne commercials can get pretty crazy sometimes. <laughs> oh, Timothy Chalamet. Interesting. I didn't realize how often they lean into celebrities with these things. Doug Doug and Chill. Hmm. Hey, Doug. Do you like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Even though I'm European, it's one of my favorite shows by far. Who's your favorite character? Mine is either Charlie or Dee. These nuts in your These mouth. These nuts in your fucking face got him. Ah, no, you didn't. <laughs> hey, Doug, what is your Besides, Charlie's the better character. West? He is. Uh, let's not. <laughs> Was that genuine? <laughs> That's so deranged if you're like, you know what? Right now, during this cologne tier list, Doug should talk about his opinions on a divisive figure. <laughs> I think he's a very talented artist, I'll say that. Hey Duck, do you know if your girlfriend is single? I have a cat and I am not bald. Uh, oh, oops, I accidentally skipped the alert. Oh, damn. Okay. Next up. Doug, I'm breaking up with you. Can you please delete all the pictures you took of my foot? I don't want anyone to know. <clears throat> please. Emotionally ground yourself. Tune in with how you feel about your self-image. How do you feel about your life? How do you feel about your career? How do you feel about your relationships? How do you feel about the way that... What do you think about when you're at a party and other people are potentially forming opinions about you? And now, enjoy Timmy in a blow channel. <clears throat> I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, I love you. 
Bleu de Chanel. Okay, so I I now firmly believe that Timothy Chalamet wants to fuck me. Like he want he wants me bad. That doesn't make me want the cologne at all. D this did nothing to myself. I'm like still pretty confident in myself. I feel good about myself right now. I don't feel like I need this cologne. In fact, it looks like I would be attracting the wrong type of person because I am heterosexual. So I, I this one's not doing anything for me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's just also it's not it's just it's just literally Timothy Chalamet. There's nothing else here. There's nothing else going on. I don't know. Like, I don't. I genuinely don't get what I'm supposed to feel here. Presumably, this is targeted at men. Presumably, most of whom are heterosexual. I, I just. I don't get what this is supposed to do. Like he. He doesn't even. It doesn't portray him in like a super cool way. That's like, hey, you'd be way fucking better if you wore Timothy Chalamet's cologne. It's for the girlfriends. So okay, wait. Is, but, so is that what is, is that the I strategy then? My self image to I am Kenna. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie, so no. But good idea. Is this is this like, hey, girlfriend, you can get you should get this for your boyfriend because he will be Timothy Chalamet. This is this feels like a Timothy Chalamet ad, not a cologne ad. Girlfriends. Okay, interesting. Well, so. Potentially a really effective cologne commercial. Does it make me feel like I want this cologne? No, not even remotely. I would say that... Wait, did I lose one of the... Oh, there we go. I wouldn't feel worse about myself. But I would say that I'm happy with my self-image on, on that commercial. My self-image has not changed at all based on that. Let's get your guys' vote. How do you think my self-image has changed based on looking at Timothy Chalamet's incredibly hey, seductive Doug, gaze? If the ad for Turbo isn't in the list, it's at least worth adding on to the end. Ad for Turbo? Is that a clone? I mean, potentially we throw in some, some bonus ones at the end. I think we have plenty. Uh, obviously, there are many more cologne commercials hey, we Doug, could watch. I need to go see my job providers who are helping me reform from being a femboy. Can you promise me you'll be here when I get back? <laughs> Depends how long the appointment is. Um, all right, which one was this? This is this is it, right? Yeah, this one. All hey, right, Doug. Have you ever heard of Jeremy Fragrance? If not, you need to look him up ASAP. No cologne research is complete without him. Is he on? If you like the sound of a Hollow Knight randomizer, Hollow Knight has a lot, and I mean a lot, of crazy mods and challenges and meme speedruns. There are plenty of content creators who almost exclusively play Hollow Knight mods and Interesting. never run out of ideas. Interesting. If okay. Wanna... I I will look into that because I've really been enjoying Hollow Knight. So, um, okay, this one does nothing to my self image. I feel quite happy. And I should point out, in general, I'm pretty happy with my self image. I I don't. I'm probably not exactly who they're going for with these commercials. Like, it probably helps that I'm in my 30s, and I'm just not as... I just don't care nearly as much what people think about me, but... So, I'm, I'm probably not the target audience in general for these. But obviously, like, with this one, though, I was still like, Damn, dude, I'm a fucking pussy, right? This one, though, I'm just like, no, dude, I'm actually pretty happy with my life, you know? This video is just screaming for a Scentbird sponsorship. Get that bank, diggers. Okay. That also reminds me, I want to try to not use... Baz was weird. Yeah. I want to try to... I want to describe how these are making me feeling in not a toxic way. <laughs> Which will... <laughs> We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so next up is Burberry Hero. Jeremy Fragrance is better. Well, it, I don't think we're rating Jeremy Fragrance. Wait, this would... No, no, this would ruin the list potentially. Hello, guys. Jeremy Fragrance here, the number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus. Top 10 fragrances for men. Chanel Allure Sport O Extreme. Armani Code Absolute. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramail. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. 
Office for Men, Institute for Greatness. He just lists them out? He doesn't like say anything else? Portrait of a lady. <laughs> Does he not have the list ready? Is this improvised? <laughs> he looks like he just remembered that his mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and that this was the cologne that he gave to her like in the hospital. Dylan Blue. <laughs> what? It's the Molly Layton exclusive and Dior Savage Elixir. These 10 are the 10 best in the following 10 categories. Okay, Jeremy Frey is very interesting. I mean, we can look at, we can look at how his list compares to our list at the end of this. Um, uh, I interesting. Uh, it seems like a whole rabbit hole to go down, potentially. Okay. This one is Burberry Hero. Then he just walks off. Yeah, wait, <laughs> was there anything else? <laughs> in this? Fresh, sweet, loud, cheap, expensive, oud, rose, teenager, and... I'm going to film a little bit from my phone. Here. <laughs> what is happening? And, and long lasting. So for my social media here again, I will tell you the top 10 best fragrances at the moment for men, more or less spontaneously picked. He just really, says it twice. I could in also pick other ones. Allure Sport Extreme. Armani Code Ex Absolute. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramere. Mont Blanc. Is this Eddie even... Spirit. Is it even the same 10? Office for Men, Initiate for Greatness, Portrait of a Lady, Dylan Blue, Parfums de Mala Lake, Nick. <laughs> okay, it's finished already. So, th so this YouTube video is him <laughs> recording videos for TikTok. <laughs> what an insane. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Holy shit, what a, what a, okay. That made me feel like I need these fragrances, right? For you to be this fucking confident with such an astoundingly bad video, right? <laughs> it's like wildly confident. This would make me feel like no matter what I do in my life, I am the hottest shit on the planet, right? This, whatever he wears, whatever his is number one, like this, this makes me feel like I, <laughs> I am not a real man without his clone. Wow. What a, what a dude, that's nuts. This Dior commercial sets an unrealistic expectations of having windows in a New York apartment. <laughs> Therefore, I need it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh, add him to the list. What, like just add Jeremy? He maybe never quit playing Batman. With all the menacing and brooding over the skyline. Probably took some long-term damage at the set. Oh, you're saying that commercial is just him filming Batman? Any ad that shows it attracting woman is not manly. The most manly men only fuck other men after pumping iron and wrestling bears and welding. Attracting men equals the most manly. Okay, Jeremy Fragrance is now up here. But he's hey, not done. really a clone. Whenever so this I is an honorary. Colonies or perfumes, I get extremely dizzy, and I get a huge headache, so I am really disappointed at you for selling all this colonies. I hope that all the money that Big Smell is giving you is worthy. <laughs> I will sue. Uh, I should be clear, I'm not being paid to do any of this. Um, so, but feel free to uh, <clears throat> get influenced either way. I mean, Jeremy influenced pretty hard there. Okay, I'm going to put Jeremy over here. He's uh, he's an honorary, I'm not, he's just, the, the thing is that he is a human being and not a cologne. So it's not exactly uh, fitting for the tier list. <clears throat> Next up, please, center yourself. Reconnect with your self-image. And get ready for Jedi Horse. What is the essence of a hero? Power. Speed. Grace. What the fuck? A horse embodies all of these qualities. Does it? That is why I train with horses. 
I must be stronger than the horse, faster than the horse, more beautiful than the horse. <laughs> but it's not enough to merely train with horses. I must join it in the Jedi ocean, where the Force will surround us. I feel like the Jedi part is Penetrate really. Penetrate us. Bind us. To become a hero, I must first become a horse. <laughs> Jedi horse. <laughs> From Burberry. It's, hold on, is this real? This can't be real. Is that a real cologne? That has to be fake, right? There's no way that's real. The fact that he's a Jedi has nothing to do with it. Oh no, he did Burberry Hero. Hold on. <laughs> Okay wait, wait. okay, wait, hold on. So we were, <laughs> we were watching. We were watching the, a fake one, I think. Okay, he's definitely not a Jedi in the original one. <laughs> wait, was, so was the voiceover? Was the voiceover all fake? <laughs> It was so much better with the voiceover. Oh, and I'm gonna get DMCA for this probably. I need to play my own music over it. Okay, so with this one, he's just like copulating with the horse. I don't like this one. Doesn't I just feel like he's romancing an animal? <laughs> this one sucks, dude. The original is so bad. Wait, wait, okay, wait, hold on. Are there any words at the end? Burberry Hero. A new fragrance for men. Okay, this commercial is terrible. I do not have any desire to go swimming in the ocean with a horse. Like, at all. It does nothing for me. Adam Driver, pretty pretty masculine. Uh, he was, you know, he's like a marine and he's all sorts of crazy, right? This one, though, this is pretty good. <laughs> Bind us. To become a hero, I must first become... A horse. <laughs> Jedi horse. From Burberry. I love that there's no no follow-up to him having a lightsaber at the beginning. <laughs> what is the essence of a hero? Power. Why? Why is he a Jedi? <laughs> he just, that just stops being relevant almost immediately. Grace. A horse embodies all of these qualities. <laughs> Okay, we're going off of this one. This is the better cologne commercial. Um, what do we think about this commercial? It's ex so it's extremely funny. Oh, hey Doug, I'm a little busy, so I'm going to leave my young and very impressionable son here to watch. Uh oh. Anyways, what are we doing? All today? right, you might come back, and your son's a horse. Okay, I don't know that I feel like I'm not a real man without this. It's too goofy, like. I'm a trans woman, and these ads will only be a tier if they make me want to be a man again. <laughs> yeah, so does Adam Driver, or does it make you want to transition to a, to a horse now? Um, I don't think. Okay, look, 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 look. I know everybody wants to do, do top tier, right? Gonna bang my girl under a table now. Do you think we both will go to jail for indecent exposure or just her? I think whoever's wearing the cologne is safe. Everybody else is definitely breaking the law. All right, I, I think what we need to what we need to remember here is that this is not how funny the commercial is. It's not how much we like the commercial. It's does this make you feel more or less insecure? Like you need this cologne in order to be accepted in our patriarchal society, right? It's horse tier. We don't have horse tier. We have to put horse horse tier needs to fit somewhere else. And then also, to some degree, I think we should consider the original commercial, which has nothing. Where would horse tear go?
<laughs> Above S. It's not... Okay, we can have a horse in... No, no, no. Because we, we need an actual top tier that I will buy. Not Jared. We need... It can't just be memes. The memes have to go in a separate meme tier. Most masculine ad gets to be reenacted by you and the boys if necessary. I need to rent a horse. Buy the horse cologne. But, but I want to... <sighs> Show microwave. Okay. I'm not a real man without this cologne. Hey, of course. Could you please is the new top category. YouTube chat so that you can only read half of their messages at a time. We did that in the past. Okay, what tier is the horse Jedi? Doug Doug. I am a QA engineer. As a software engineer, could you gaslight me? It's really Hi, good. Doug. Just got back from a date. We made out under the table and almost got into a battle with a street gang, but I won and looked over New York naked in my apartment. Oh, that was you. How are we today? Oh, we were just watching a live feed of your life. Surfities, thank you for the one year. Okay. I do not feel that this is the... <laughs> I do not feel that my self-image was really hurt. I do not feel like I will only be a man if I wear horse cologne, but... This is currently going into the top tier. Congratulations. Where's the horse? Since you're including an ad for the city of Cologne, can we also do a hamburger tier list where it's a tier list of people from the city of Hamburg? <laughs> That's a whole different stream, maybe. Okay, and then Jeremy Fragrance is also near here. He's just watching, I could though. I a plane and fight a bear at the same time tier. I think, I mean, I think that's what this is, right? It's not just you're a real, you're only a real man if you wear this cologne. It's also like, you don't use maps anymore. You just use your innate TF2 primal sense of again. direction. Chat, can we please right? make Doug do the big fish flop stream? Please, please, slash, hey, so chat, I have like a huge crush on Doug. Please keep it a secret. I, I, I don't tell anybody that. Um, but like th this, this tier is like, I will no longer feel an emotion because emotions are cringe and I'm a man, right? Like this, this is like every, every toxic masculinity stereotype. You are like, I need that. And I will be that if I have the horse clone, which I don't necessarily agree with, but, um, Adam driver, <laughs> I mean, look, Adam driver's sick. I like Adam driver a lot. Okay. Jan, Jan, thank you for the one year. So currently our number one is horse, but I do think something else should beat it, right? I think at some point we got to find something that beats the, the horse clone. One where they intentionally made the commercial and achieved their goal of making me feel more or less of a man. Okay. <clears throat> Next up Inside is... Of you are two wolves. One is Johnny Depp. <laughs> What? Okay, this next one is uh, Gene Paul Galter. <clears throat> Sound yourself. Oh, this one is strange. Okay, I'm excited for this. Uh, already not feeling very uh, stereotypical masculinity, but okay, let's let's dive into it. This is extremely homoerotic so far. <laughs> like, so is he? For men by Jean Paul Gaultier. Okay. Okay. Lot to take in there. I feel confused about my sexuality. This is. 
This is really tar. This is really for. This is really for the bisexuals, I think. Because about about half of this commercial is him being hit on by men, and about half of it is him running towards a like a mermaid. Also, s sailors dress like this. Is, this reminds me of theater kids doing a low budget production at their high school. And like this is supposed to be the ma like this is supposed to be like the masculine sailors, but they're just super effeminate. Like this doesn't this doesn't evoke generic like toxic masculinity, right? Like I don't think when you think of a rugged sailor, you don't have these like nicely manicured white suits, I don't think. Um and then this I okay, here's my here's here's my pitch. If you were bisexual, this would be S tier, right? This would be absolutely fucking incredible. As somebody who is uh heterosexual, <laughs> not doesn't do a lot for me, I'm gonna be honest. Um what, what what this does is makes me be like, this guy probably has the greatest life in the world. He is just he is just hooking up with a billion hot sailors and mermaids constantly, right? Do I want that? No, not really, not particularly. You're not a real man unless you're playing electric guitar in the desert surrounded by wolves. I'm just I'm confused by this one. We love semen. Hey, yes. Not. You're just jealous because he is here and you don't. So is he like ignoring all of them? Is that the idea? Like he's going for her in the lighthouse or? No, I mean it's a lot of beautiful people throughout this whole ad. I'm just, it's too, it's the too. The commercial was cool, but does it work on humans? It looks like it only attracts wolves. <laughs> True. Le mal, le parfum. The new fragrance for men by Jean-Paul Gaultier. There's too much going on here. I feel I like it needs to be more I'm focused. I'm pretty sure those are wolf dogs. Is that a real thing? Okay, what tier is this one? I, I'm confused by this one in all sorts of ways. I'm feeling confusion uh, in many, many different things in my brain. I feel like it's too dense. I don't know. Find a cologne that will make somebody love you as much as Douglas Douglas loves Twitch chat. I wouldn't... Okay, here, here let, me, let me pitch you how I feel. I wouldn't say it's not top tier for me. I wouldn't say holy shit, everyone will think I'm hot. What I would maybe go. I could get that big. Per no, I do. I'd feel a bit more masculine wearing this. That's how I would land with this one. It's just it's so far removed from anything that is relatable to me in any way. This would be a good dug 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 video. Dug 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 these nuts. I, I think it's in the bottom half. It's one, what do you mean? You don't play guitar in the deserts with wolves, Doug. SMH my head. Even, you okay. failed us. Even if it was just like really, really heterosexual of a commercial, right? Where it was this dude running around shirtless and it was all women running around him, right? Where it really tapped into like, we're going for the heterosexuals. Okay, even if it did that. I feel like it just needs more. You know, it needs more than just like you could run to a lighthouse and make out with a hot woman on top of it. You know what I mean? I think it, it like the commer. It's this one's pretty much all sex appeal, and I feel like it needs more than that, right? That's why I liked the the Cedric Diggory one, the Batman one, because it leaned into a lot of things. It was like, hey, you're gonna go dancing, and you're so confident that you don't give a fuck what people think about you, right? You're going to walk down the street and you're going to do a gang fight with some random guy just because he's near you, right? On top of saying you're also going to have wild sex under a restaurant table. I feel like this one is all sex appeal and it needs to have more. And I'm not, I don't feel more masculine if I was a sailor. Hi, Doug. First time being part of a stream. Been watching on you for years. Love your content. Trans girl gang, transgender pride. Oh, thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. Um, but it appeals to... The sides of men that want to be cool and mysterious. The Dior Savage ad was a shortened version, so you missed my fave part when he buries his necklace. Oh, really? Highlander, thank you for the two years, man. Um, okay. The final vote is... I am happy with my self-image. Which I agree with.
Which one is it? Wait, how, what did it end? What did it look like? Um. Oh, hello, dog. Here. Hello, fancy seeing you here. Your balding is rigged. Can I get a rigged in chat? Okay. The bottle is cool. The bottle is very cool. I will admit hey, that. Doug, how was your Valentine's Day? I sadly broke up with my boyfriend who was an actor for men's cologne commercials, so mine wasn't great. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing today? This again, I feel like this is for bisexual men because, or, or women, because um, the cologne bottle has a man's bulge in it. <laughs> and I just, I don't feel like that's, I don't feel like they're targeting a, like a traditionally heterosexual man, which is fine. That's obviously fine. But I, I, I just, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't trigger the part of my insecurities that the, our society has inlaid into me. Okay. That was Le Mail. We are now moving on to Light Blue. Sexuality is a spectrum. Right, right, right. But on my end of the spectrum, I don't think it works very well. All right, all right. Um, this is Dolce & Cabana Light Blue. Uh, and, uh... This is a stream for adults, by the way. You're going to have to look away. I, I, so somebody is saying nipples in chat, and I was like, oh, I should make a joke about this. And then I realized there's been tons of nipples. Like, we, we just watched like 18 shirtless sailors run around, and nobody said nipples once. Okay, this is a strong opening. Hard with sex appeal. Dolce and Gabbana, light blue. What was the ending? Huh? Was that meant to be a joke? Huh? What, what the fuck is the ending about? I mean, this is just down the line. You'll be hot, and you'll have a hot woman. Dolce and Gabbana, light blue. I'm so confused by the ending. What? It, I feel like this is meant to imply it's not real, right? It all, I mean, already, this was the most generic possible commercial. I don't feel like it did that. It was like, a, oh, shit. Like, I would be way more of a man if I wore this cologne. But, like, too generic to really resonate in my brain, right? To, to actually trigger insecurities. And then this makes it feel like, eh, we were just joking. You won't, this won't happen to you. It's just cologne, you fucking weirdo. Like, what, you think you're going to be, you think I'm going to be with this hot girl? No, it's a commercial, you dummy. But anyway, buy our product. I just, I don't feel like that's a smart strategy at all, right? Right, it, it makes it relatable. But that's not what you want in a, presumably, in a cologne. I, you compare this to Johnny Depp walking through the desert. They're, they're owning it, right? They're just saying like, look, this is how fucking awesome you could be with this cologne. With the most recent one, it's like, look at how incredible you might... Just kidding. Look at you. <laughs> like, it just makes me like, hey, no, no, no. <laughs> look at you. You think that could be you? <laughs> Get a grip. Be realistic here. So this one makes me feel bad. I literally would feel worse wearing this because I'd be like, they're making fun of me. There's a longer version. Okay. I'm curious to watch that now. How can we incorporate gambling in this stream? I mean, it, most even even if there's a longer version somewhere, we're watching like the 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 main versions that are put on TV, right? Thunderflux cologne that is made to smell like cocaine. That's emasculating. Oh, it's about commercials, though. Um, all right, what do you guys think? Regardless of whether there's a full version. Hey Doug, currently on a date watching your stream. Please be funny or she is leaving me. Oh crap. Quick Twitch chat, make a joke. Me, a happily married woman. Damn Doug is taking on this pressure. The real token for that time is in your Thanks, Ditlo. Alright, this is. Solidly. Okay, well, I didn't tell a joke. 
and Twitch Cat didn't tell a joke, but I hope it felt like a joke was told. All right, this one, officially, I would feel worse about myself. The, the cut at the end, this would have been like mid-tier, like I'd feel a bit more masculine. And the cut at the end made it feel like the commercial is telling me I will never be that hot and will never jump off of a cliff into the water like that. Can we do cologne bingo? Oh, that is a good idea. That's like a whole other thing, though. Whichever cologne you buy, get some kind of mechanical device to automatically spritz yourself every time you die in. <laughs> I don't know why your last part... Oh, that last part was treated as an HTML tag, so that's why I didn't get read out loud. We I could do bingo. I was going to do something vaguely productive, but now I'm too invested in your current tasting. Well, it's not tasting so much. A five-minute adventure? I guess we could make a bingo board. Isn't Cologne a city in Germany? I am so confused. Oh, somebody just said the, they cut the commercial because they're about to fuck. That's interesting. Okay, that's a little different of like, even in a commercial, it'll be so intense that we're going to have to try to stop it's you from having sex. I still, that's not how I interpret it though. And I don't think most people in chat interpret it that way. That was so obvious. We've been saying that for five minutes. Really? That's just not how I interpreted it at all. The, the Timothy Chalamet wasn't an ad. It's just a video introducing him as a new ambassador. Okay, here's why it doesn't work. Here's why it doesn't work. Uh, okay, well, that makes more sense. The way he says cut needed to be more exasperated, right? He needed to be like, cut! As though... As though these actors are going off script and they're about to have sex instead of doing the commercial, right? Instead, he sounds like a very quaint French man who's just doing his job. Right? That's way too light. That's like, cut. That's just standard. That's just that's just normal stuff, right? He, the implant, right? You know, he needed to he needed to deliver the line for that to be the joke. Otherwise, it's just okay. This is a commercial. This isn't real. They're just Italian. Well, they said the word cut which is English, and they should have said English that was more convincing if it's a commercial for English speakers, which it is. Dolce and Gabbana, light blue. I, I think they fail on that. If that was their idea, I think it, it did not actually stick the landing. He has seen them fuck so many times he doesn't care. Well, that, then it's just a whole backstory they need to uh, expand on, right? Hey, Doug, I looked in would like you asked, and now I'm having an existential crisis. Is Cologne Jesus, really all we should judge ourselves on? Are Zoo cool thing with five gifted subs. According to these commercials, yes. This is the only thing that matters. Doug, can you unboard yourself? That was a commercial really in Italy for a while? Oh. I mean, I assume all of these have different versions for different languages, right? It's just that they should have hey, delivered Doug, harder have on the English one. Philip Plan No Limits Cologne commercial? It is peak masculinity. It was the exact the same commercial. Oh. Philip Plan. Wait, Des, you're you're Italian, right? Is cut also a word in Italian that means cut, the thing has ended? Because hey, if Doug, so, that makes a little a more sense. I'm a student currently trying to study for a math midterm. Can you please put on some calming study music for me? Uh, yeah, sure. I got you. Um, we want carbs. What are you talking about? All right, good luck on your test tomorrow. Oh. Uh, no, sorry. You can go watch Carbs on your own. We're here to watch Carbs Loan. That wasn't good. Okay, we just watched Light Blue. We're moving on to Pure XS. Hey, Doug Nut Joke got him, ha ha. So funny. Did I do it right, guys? Not very well, but just to make you feel better, we'll ban you anyways. Cut translates to... It's not a word in Italian, but it's understood. It means like that, like film or burger. Okay. I think my girlfriend got me gas scented cologne and hid it in my room cause I can smell it. <laughs> That's so romantic of her, dude. Ugh. Okay, we could do a quick bingo commercial. Or not bingo Doug, commercial. It's bingo board. How your own stream is the first video in your YouTube recommended. This is not my main YouTube, though. This is a 
YouTube account I only use for streaming. And I think generally on streams, we're watching my own I'm videos. I'm so happy so. that I finally got an ad blocker so I never have to watch any ads ever again. <laughs> anyway, what are hey, we doing at, today? At least the ads we're watching today won't be blocked by other ads. Um, Alright, let me... Let me open up. I think I have a bingo board that we can use. Jeremy Fragrance has also been shown to have ties to right-wing German politicians. Maybe not a good person to give attention to. I think it is okay. Uh, I am of the belief that you can talk about somebody uh, without it being an endorsement of their beliefs, personally. Which I know some people disagree with. Um, VOD bingo? Is that what this is? Let me see what this file is. Okay. Why is the background my face? Okay. How big is this? Dude, this is a lot. This is a huge bingo board. I feel like this is too much. This was for the VOD bingo that we did a while ago. Um. Hey, Gladys. I mean, Douglas. What cologne do you use? Or do you use hot dog water like a man? <laughs> also, when are you dropping your next album? A lot of good questions there. I think we probably do five by five, right? This is probably a little too Chat, much. Chat, if you feel emasculated, just become a femboy. Oh. Forget Doug and his emasculating propaganda, and embrace oh, femboyology. I don't think it's a religion, but I could be wrong. I guess I wouldn't know. Okay, let's... Hey, uh, Doug. Yeah. Just got back from therapy for my crippling fear of masculinity and advertisements. Anyways, what are we doing today? Don't worry. Nothing related to that at all. Hey Doug, why are we talking way the grease smells? Okay. Oh, wait, let me save this as something else. Or I forget. Fun fact, Jeremy Fragrance once said in an interview that he is very proud to only have about 200 thoughts per day. Also, he yells <laughs> power a lot. <laughs> he seems like a character. Um, okay. Can we have an image of Jeremy Fragrance grinning in the corner of the screen? But we get that every time we go back to the to the board. All right. So we got to we got to come up with forget about these fake manly colognes. All you need is the Burger King body spray or bacon classic. Top cologne gets made into a spaghetti colonnade dinner. Okay, we'll have a free space in the middle. This is going to be from what? From this point forward. From this point forward. Uh, all right. What are some? What are some ones that? This I mean, no shirts make easy. Me as hung as a horse. Uh, wolves. Yeah. Okay. Man interacting with wolves or uh, interacting with animals. Horse glue cologne. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, okay. I need this to be a horse. They're on a boat. Oh, yeah, okay. Really thick... Thick... Uh, European accent. <laughs> Oh, we haven't had Ding Drea bop. driving. You bet your stinks that's a real ecologon. Driving extremely fancy car, which I don't know if we've even had yet. We have making out as a free space. Oh, oh, drinking alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Doug, we all know the best cologne is the scent of a delicious factor meal fresh out of the microwave. <laughs> so true. Okay. Um... Oiled up men kissing. <laughs> Two men are kissing. Just as some context, while Jeremy is an entertaining guy, he is a supporter of the German right wing party. Um, staring into the camera feels too vague. Hey, Doug, genuine advice. Jeremy Fragrance has been associated with right wing extremists in Germany. As a German, I'd highly recommend not ever going down the rabbit hole, and also ranking him highly is kinda controversial. Uh, I think these hey, are Doug, all... Just got here. 
What's it going to As I said, I think you can talk about a person and what they've put into the world without endorsing their politics. And I think that is that is okay to do. Uh, I am not endorsing Jeremy Fragrance's can we political get to views. Jedi horse tier? Um, oh, somebody... Guy wearing a... Guy wearing only underwear. Can you do Idug versus I Park a rap battle? Okay. Uh, celebrity appearance. Well, that's More so Jeremy easy. Fragrance, please. <laughs> the duality of Twitch chat. Uh, Ranger, thank you for the one year. Oh, at, yeah, at the beach. That's a good one. It's nice. That's basically a free space, but... Um... Monochrome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole... that Jeremy Fragrance has ties to German far-right politicians. Yep. Ranking him high slash referring to him might not be the smartest thing. I am okay, I am okay with that. I understand if some people find uh, that to be a poor hey, decision. Hey, Doug. I am a horse breeder and looking for my best horse. Have you seen it? I think a Jedi ran away with it. I like the idea that he stole the commercial. Or he stole the horse. Close-up crotch shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Close-up. Is this your way of telling us you think you smell? It's okay, Doug. Twitch chat will tell you the best cologne for you. <laughs> Apparently, you guys are the ones deciding this. Um... As a non-binary person, I now feel the need to be a man. <laughs> there you go. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Sex in a weird place. Or I, uh, weird is a strong word in an unusual place. Remember, horsiculation is not emasculation. Oh, that's good. Actually, putting on cologne. That's a hard one. <laughs> Nobody has actually used Doug, cologne at you all. You don't understand. Without this chat, we'll never become the horse they were destined to be. We have car. Um. Oh, a woman whispers seductively. That's good. I am one with the horse. Burberry has trained me well in the ways of the Jedi. BTW, do you have plans on doing another You Said Ike dumbass stream slash video? Was very fun slash funny to watch on YouTube. Uh, oh, no okay. current plans. What did Maybe at some point. Did you try to advertise slash what did I just watch here? Um. Oh, guy with thick beard. There's been no beards. I feel like that's like a really hard one to get. I feel worse okay, we need ten more. Because I'm not a horse. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, slow motion running for sure. That's a good one. Motorcycle. Driving a motorcycle. That's good. Hey Doug, I feel like we should replace the top tier description with the picture of Jeremy Fagans. <laughs> like there's just no words. Um. Okay. Bjorn might be a bit more receptive to your trivia answers with the horse cologne. That's <laughs> true. Uh, features an A-list celebrity. I mean, this is basically a free space, right? Hey, Doug, can you please quietly enable one of the rules and chat during this stream but not acknowledge or talk about it at all? <laughs> um, something, yeah, something with Sunrise. We have slow Wait, motion so running. Does this mean you invite Jeremy Fragrance to try the cologne since he's in the top tier? He's just there to gaze upon the top tier. Um. You should recreate the Jedi horse commercial, but Barry and you are in a horse costume, and Parksa is Adam Driver. <laughs> so <laughs> ridiculous. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Can we a lot of emphasis a horse without this tier. on someone's ab. Actually, it should be a guy's abs. Because they're, they're going to show a lot of women's abs, I think. This is all for the for the remaining ones, by the way. I would like a horse's doing, so I will buy this cologne. Breaks the, breaks the fourth wall is good. Because like that last one of cutting was a good breaks the fourth wall. I think that's a solid one. Okay, we need five more. There are two wolves inside of you. One of them is a horse. <laughs> okay, so, 
<laughs> Good suggestion, Mark. There are no nipples. <laughs> I think we've learned that Doug is bad taste in cologne. Also, when's the traditional five time in it coding challenge for today's stream? Oh, this is kind of it. Making a bingo card randomly midway through. Looks into the camera is too... I feel like that's too Add easy. The questioning sexuality category. Honestly, I'm going to do there's a horse. I feel like that's a common a common enough thing. Well, no, no. We already have there's an animal. We already have man interacting with animals. That, co that covers the horse. That covers the horse. The waning equality of TTS messages as of late seems to have coincided with the introduction of YouTube chat. I believe this must be investigated. Doug, TF2 guy once again. This is my final $4, so I wanted to say that I have a huge crush on you. Well, I used to. YouTube Che looking so down there, Doug. <laughs> Can you help me get them into my sweaty little hands? Um, I think hey, I'm Doug, tied up. Can we ask Bjorn, renowned we have beach, and right? expert, what he At thinks the, the video smells like? I think he'd say, as an AI language model. Uh, Long time viewer, finally wanted to plop into a live stream and subscribe, and the first thing I see is shirtless men, ten tenths bisexual. <laughs> Welcome. It's good, good stream to tune into. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Somebody. That's good. That's somebody. Someone. What if it was removes, horses chasing him and not men? Removes an article of clothing. That's good. That's good. It's not. You can't. It's not just you are walking around shirtless. You have to actually take it off. That's a really good one. Oh, playing an instrument's good. Playing an instrument's good. Somebody said- Exclamation mark TTS, I am a wolf horse, Doug. Please hire me. Somebody said long hair. I, I just, that's too hard to judge, right? Like, what is long hair, really? That's too, it's too vague, right? Jesus. Okay, we need one more. Ken Shield, thank you so much for the tank of is subs. what the miserable is about? It gives me vibes of the South Park episodes with musicals having <laughs> BJs in the subtext of every song. <laughs> okay, somebody said literally- Anyone is bald. <laughs> you should add Old Spice to this review, if you haven't already. Also L'Oreal, that stuff is crazy in Europe. Old Spice isn't cologne though. It's just body spray. I guess is that the, is there actually a difference? I, I guess I'm not really sure, but I don't think of Old Spice as cologne. The Sailor one makes me feel less masculine and insecure because the woman is luring the man rather than the man being in control of the situation. That's an interesting, that's an interesting point to it, yeah. And I, you know, again, I'll take the opportunity to reiterate, that's obviously completely fine, but I think for them to really tap into shitty masculinity tropes that we that are pervasive in our society, I think you're right. That partially changes as well. Of like, he's, he's like running towards something and isn't totally in control of the situation. Extremely toxic mentality, but I think you're right. I feel like the, the it's uh, hopefully fairly clear, but this is not an endorsement of this type of commercial. I think it's just funny how ridiculous these are. Okay, um, we've got a good list. Do I need to like change the order of these or do we just go with it, right? We probably just go with it. They make cologne, but it's focused on body soap. Yeah, I mean, I use their body soap, yeah. Okay, we send it. So our list, this is a bingo card that we have going on simultaneously. Man interacting with animals, they're on a boat. I guess they're being so, wait, wait, hold on. This needs to be man and woman are on a boat. Really thick European accent, driving extremely fancy car, drinking really fancy alcohol, close up on a crotch shot, whole commercial is black and white, they're at the beach, there's a guy wearing only underwear, two men are kissing, sex in an unusual place, they're actually putting on the cologne, a hot guy kisses a hot girl, which is free space, woman whispers seductively, there's a guy with a thick beard, it breaks the fourth wall, it acknowledges that it's a cologne commercial, a lot of emphasis on a guy's abs. Features an A-list celebrity driving a motorcycle. Slow motion running. There are no nipples in the whole commercial. There's no words except the name of the cologne. Someone removes an article of clothing. They're playing an instrument and literally anybody is bald. This is a good bingo list. This is good. Okay. Back to our list. Again, this is for all future commercials. And the next one is... Wait, did we watch this one? No, we didn't. All right, all right. Center yourself. I swear to God, Doug, I'm gonna shove most of those ads into the sixth locker. <laughs> Middle top is already done. No, it's not, because it's from this point forward. 
I think the joke is that they cut away from the sex scene. Yep. I don't think they I don't think they delivered the joke well. Okay. One more text speech and we're going. As a trans man, I need a cologne commercial that makes me want to take my shot ASAP. <laughs> yeah, that's... So long time viewer, <laughs> first time interaction. Thanks, Derek. Hope you're all feeling very masculine today. Yeah, that you're like, oh god, and you just immediately start injecting testosterone. Is the sailor at what Le Miserable is about? It gives me vibes of the South Park episodes with musicals having BJs in the subtext of every song. Dot is about it gives me vibes of the South Park episodes with musicals having Wait, BJs what? in the subtext of every song. I, I guess I haven't watched modern South Park. I don't know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Clear, clear your palate. Everybody, clear your palate. Take a deep breath into chat. Center yourself. What is your self-image? How do you feel about yourself? Are you happy with how others perceive you? Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with your sexuality? Are you happy with the impact that you have on the world? Are you happy with how people will think about you and remember you once you pass on to the great cologne commercial in the sky? And now, with that in mind, let us watch. Also, this is not sized correctly. This was too big. <clears throat> Here we go. Good, good open. Oh, good open. This is nuts. It's twofold. It's like, you better have a bathroom that looks like this, right? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's that wasn't a close up on the abs. Okay, they are focusing on his pelvis a lot. He actually used the clone. Pure excess. The new fragrance for men by Paco Rabanne. Okay. That made me feel pretty insecure. I'm going to be honest. That made me feel super insecure. God damn. Okay. Wow. No. Yeah. Okay. We First off, we checked off a lot of bingo cards. What? That was a good commercial, dude. Okay. Guy wearing only underwear. Technically, he didn't because he went from pants to no pants. Uh, Close-up crotch shot. It wasn't close-up. Woman whispers seductively. We didn't hear her, so no. Didn't kiss a hot girl. He actually did put on cologne, though. So we, not, we got this one. Okay. Uh, slow motion running. Features able celebrity. A lot of emphasis on a guy's abs. I would say that was a lot of emphasis on a guy's abs, right? That was a, there was a lot of abs. Uh, playing an instrument, someone removes an article. Oh, he definitely removed an article of clothing. Uh, there's no words except the name of the cologne. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I don't know if we'll ever be able to achieve it, but we did not get there are no nipples. Maybe in the future. Okay, we knocked out four. Now, I would say that was a pretty good commercial, dude. I feel like... Like, this is so ridiculous. Okay, here's, here's why I think this is good. One, it's creative sex appeal, right? It's not just... You're kissing a hot girl on a boat, right? It's like people just anywhere you go when you're like taking a dump, there's going to be a dozen gorgeous women who are just looking at you, pining after you, just wishing and, and fantasizing about all the things. It's it's kind of creepy, right? It's a little terrifying. I wouldn't want to wish this on anybody, but it, it makes me feel pretty insecure about my life. Like, wow, nobody watches me while I'm taking a dump. I'm just by myself. I'm all alone. It makes oh, it makes me feel lonely, right? Be like, I don't have perverts in my walls. I don't have people who are literally stare like who are creeping on me without my permission. Like clearly, if I was enough of a man, I would have this problem, right? And then the second thing, the, the second thing I think that really works. First off, the like him undressing, it's, it's all pretty good, right? Look at this bathroom. Look at this bathroom. 
he has a library in the bathroom. He has a gold-plated toilet. He has like eight towels. There's <laughs> this is a terrible idea. These are all gonna get moldy from the from the moisture. Like this bathroom is insane. So I feel like it hits me on multiple levels. It's like your house fucking blows. What are you doing, you unsophisticated piece of shit? You don't have portraits in your bathroom. You don't have goblets and old like antiques. Your bathtub isn't made of gold. Look at how hot you would be with this with this cologne, dude. He is a little self-absorbed, right? This feels a little a little strange of like it's it's got a little bit too much of a uh, little too much narcissism in here. The second half of it is him staring at himself in a mirror, which is like It's that that's a that hurts it a bit. That hurts it a bit. Because, okay, so there's two possibilities. One, either he knows what's going on and he's being a creep, right? Which is that he's undressing in front of these women or trying to seduce them or, or whatever, right? And then this, the second is that he doesn't know that there's a bunch of women staring at him through the, the one-way mirror. And I guess not, he's not, yeah, creep is maybe not the right word, but um, he's, he's like showing off for them or that this is just what he does when he thinks he's alone, which, and I feel like, real toxic masculinity is that you don't care what other people think about you, right? I don't feel like it's that you're obsessed with yourself. You know what I mean? I think it feels like kind of off. He's also taking, yeah, you're right. He's putting on the cologne before taking a bath, which doesn't make any sense. He's fighting toxic masculinity. Is he imagining the women? He also just put cologne onto his junk, right? Yeah. Which, I'm not a cologne expert. I don't think you put that. Also, the cologne itself. I like the snake. Mmm. He's not taking a bath. So he's just undressing. Doug, the light blue commercial is cutting before the sex happens because they can't show it in a commercial. Yeah. He puts his cologne on his abs, then everyone dies. The actual bottle is ugly. Yeah, I guess the bottle itself. I like that it's surrounded yeah. by a gold when snake. When is your Frog Detective series speedrun? <laughs> I I think this one is pretty good. I would probably lean towards holy shit everyone will think I'm hot. I think I think the weirdness of it bumps it down a bit for me. <laughs> it's true. All right, what do you guys think? I still think it's pretty solid of making you feel insecure. I think it makes me feel pretty insecure. Like just speaking genuinely, I feel In somewhat insecure. In school and watching this stream and your opinions is so cool. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> You're welcome, Kia. You're telling me you don't randomly get naked in your bathroom library and put on cologne for no reason. But that's the thing, Just right? coming here to tell you to remember Burgundy. Burgundy forever. Also, Burgundy is not a joke. Mm. Don't you dare say it is a joke or I will do unspeakable things. See, that's where it goes up, is the idea that this man is so fucking so is hot and confident stream again? that he just sits in his bathroom undressing randomly and that everybody cares about it. But there's then the weirdness of it, which I think detracts a bit. All right, it's just officially going in. Holy shit, everyone will think I'm hot here. Hey, Doug, wanna hear a joke? Yes. I have a girlfriend. See, it's funny because it's not true. Big Doug, some cry. Got him. Got him. All right, this is right next to Cedric Diggory. Congratulations, Big Doug. The salad cologne bottle had a hog. It was a naked man body with no arms or legs and a hog. Anyway, did you know that the scientific name for pigs is sus? Is it? That feels Can like a god. Can we get a for the fans? Not for the haters, though. They get an awkward glance. Okay, this is starting off strong. I really like the opening to this. Love is in the air. Wrong. Jedi horse spray. The Jedi horse commercial is so goddamn good. Oh, I'm so sad it's fake because I would absolutely buy it. We need coffee beans in between commercials to reset our olfactory senses. Okay, I'll get the I'll get Can the, the fancy Jeremy olive oil. Allen White's Calvin Klein ad is a bonus round. Maybe I'm worried if I start taking viewer requests, it's gonna get way, way, way too long. I'm gonna grab the, the olive oil and then we'll use that as a palate cleanser in between the rounds. Hey Doug Doug. I'm completely safe right now and not in any danger. 
Please don't call the police and tell them there's a man here with a gun threatening me. Doug looked at a man I disagree with now I am an extremist. Hey, dork dork. Bought bits with money I don't have. Go watch the brute, let your man out late cologne commercial. Wait, sorry I missed that. <laughs> okay. I actually live in Cologne, Germany. Where do I rank in the tea list? If you haven't already been influenced to buy Cologne, just know this. When it came to olive oil, I used to be an extra virgin, drinking, drinking the cheap stuff from Costco. But now I only drink Olivers & Co. Olive and Basilic Frege... Oh, that's the French. Pressed oil and fresh basil from France. Uh, now, <clears throat> let us feel emasculated. And it goes a little something like this. Okay, D very different vibe. That was that was alcohol. I don't know if that counts though. He's boxing. Okay. Damn, this is pretty good, dude. Check this out. Is he gonna start boxing her? That's a What the they're in the Eiffel Tower? Nouveau parfum masculin des gens pas le petit. What? Okay, wow, that was good. Honestly, I feel pretty emasculated. Dude, why don't, okay, first off, fancy uh, fancy liquor, right? That they are drinking from a luchador who's pouring it from the ceiling. Okay, there are chandeliers everywhere. So he's supposed to be in the Eiffel Tower, right? There's so many layers to this. It's women pining after him. It's the fact that he's super strong and masculine, right? He's fucking boxing into the... Boxing so hard it destroys things. The fact that the reveal that he's in the Eiffel Tower at the end and was having sex so hard that he destroyed the Eiffel Tower. This this part's also good and, like, you're going to be so confident. Everybody who, like, wants you is going to be confident, right? It's a, It's a real, like... You are living at the highest peak of society. It's very much like, you think that girl's going to go for you? If you don't have this cologne, are you serious? Bald. Was there a bald person? What is this shot? <laughs> I like this too. Because this is a very much like, you don't want to be one of those crotchety old people who thinks it's lame to punch down the Eiffel Tower, right? And he is bald, so that counts. Um, right, this is, a, this is a real good sense of, it's not like, most of the commercial is, look at how fucking awesome you are. Look at how awesome you are. Look at the sex you're having. And then it's like, look at those fucking wound up geriatric old people who don't think it's cool to fuck the Eiffel Tower down. Scandale pour homme. Le nouveau parfum masculin de Jean-Paul Gaultier. Damn, that one is good. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's good on that's good on a lot of levels, dude. I'm I'm a big fan of that one. Those old people look snazzy. Right, right, right. That's the thing. It, like, it, it's not just other people will be. It, look, here's why I think this works. It's like you're above pompous old society, right? I think it does a good job of saying, like, it also is trying to make you feel like you're part of the special, you know, new age crust. You're not like the old people, right? You're not like the, what used to be cool in the past. You're new. You're fucking uh, boxing and whatever. Also, he's wearing the championship belt while boxing, which is strange. 
Oh, welcome champ. He's already the champ. I don't know. This one's pretty good. I could go for S tier hey, on this. Hey dog, what are your thoughts on the guy who sold his IRL dog for a virtual hat in TF2? Uh, Has that's Mark's very strange. to sell you for anything expensive? <laughs> no, I not yet. you could get a few hundred if he tried. I mean, you've already shed everything so low maintenance. Hey Doug, I'm starting a cologne brand called Aesthetic Cologne. Can you say something nice about it so I can put this clip in my commercial? You can sample it at realaroma.shop. Doug approves of whatever you just, whatever product you just said. <laughs> I definitely have used it. I think it's great. This is weird. If he was punching another guy, it would be way better. Okay, I here here's the reason I think it works. Right, it's it's on the verge of being bad in so many ways. But I think there's a lot of little things that work well with this. Um, the fact that he's punching a punching bag, I think works. One, because he hits it so hard that the walls of the Eiffel Tower break. And that I don't think that they wouldn't really like make sense. You would, I don't think you'd be able to make that work at all if it was against another person, really, because otherwise, wh where would the interaction with the walls come? But more so, I think it's more, it taps more into masculinity, I think, to show a man who could beat up anybody, right? Like, clearly, you could you could be the most powerful man in the world. You could, you could absolutely beat the shit out of any guy, right? But you choose not to. You're just showing off that you could, right? I think... I think that is that's more. It comes off as more masculine rather than a guy just beating the shit out of another guy. Because then, it, then you're like a little like unclassy and unsophisticated, right? If you're literally just beating the shit out of another human being, right? I think I think for me at least, with my with my interpretation of toxic masculinity, a tier would be a tier would be you beat people up, and then S tier is you don't. Because you don't need to, because everybody knows you could beat the shit out of them. You know what I mean? I mean, he might be the world champion of punching bags. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Um, Sixty-nine percent. Never mind. Sixty-eight point six percent are putting this up in S tier. I think it's pretty good. Uh. I would be happy to buy that over the horse, but we'll rank the S tier at the end, and then I'll buy them. Don't do drinking alcohol. You're not allowed to show people drinking alcohol in commercials, at least not in the US. Well, that's probably why... Okay, so it's kind of cheating, but that's... I'm still going to count drinking really fancy alcohol. It was, it was strongly implied, and they were pouring it. Um, there was a really thick European accent at the end. I'm going to count that. I'm new. What's a colon? <laughs> I don't think they broke the fourth wall. Can we get a bet going? Cool car in commercial. We're going to do... Also, Doug, keep doing your thing. Smile. Thank you. We could do a prediction of does Doug get bingo by the end, which would be fun. Or we do a prediction of does is there a commercial Hey Doug, just with so no you nipples. Know, Jeremy fragrance is a shit I fuck was I gonna say. Uh, se oh yeah, yeah, sex in an unusual place, yeah. That was good. Hey Doug. Oh, and I'm we've got Jedi the free space. Beater. I'm looking into making the perfect Jedi. Have you seen my jet aid? I think he rode off on a horse. <laughs> yeah, you should check the beach. Okay, this is our most likely, I think. Oh, no, this this column for sure is getting done. At Remember the beach Doug, and features an A-list celebrity. Just repeat to yourself, I am very masculine. I am very masculine. I am very masculine. Very inspirational. Okay. That was good. I like that one a lot. I It's, it's like... Very, very, very close thinking, to being too goofy. They say too much testosterone can cause baldness. So being emasculated will get chat to stop calling you bald. You'll never escape the blonde allegations, though. <clears throat> Love ones? you, content. Keep up the good work. They didn't kiss. Did they not kiss? Degraden and the past has endorsed the military coup in Sudan. Might not be the best idea to give him a platform.
You're right. You're right, they don't kiss. They're just, feel like a double they're just agent. doing a pirouette. Chat only mode Twitch on my phone with YouTube on my TV. <laughs> okay, we have to remove kissing. We don't have the free space yet. They're just really good I'm friends. I'm so happy that my cologne <laughs> suggestion got used. I haven't uh. caused this much uproar to the stream since I pointed out that you were using male gorillas instead of female ones in the zoo invasion stream. Yeah, that one did send us off for a while. Okay. Can we make the background image of the bingo board be shot of Adam Driver running next to the horse while he holds the lightsaber? First stream ever as I came from e Twitch is confusing. Does this count for bingo if it ends with hey? <laughs> no. What is the essence of a hero? How? Hey Doug, can I open my eyes yet? <laughs> uh, no. It's There might be nipples soon. You have to be careful. Can we please talk about the privacy violations? Yeah, that's why I think the bathroom one got knocked down. Because it did definitely have a level of creepiness to it. Hey Doug, I'm a cis woman but the doctor says I've got too much testosterone. Can you ask chat if they can take some off my hands? <laughs> uh, yeah, chat, if we could do... I think what we'll do is we'll get like a communal... Um, like, Don't worry, inflatable Doug. pool? You may not have people in your walls, but you have us in your basement at least. We'll get like an inflatable, like, bouncy castle that everybody can just put extra testosterone or other liquids into. Alright, now Adam Driver is our background. if you wanted someone to live in your walls, why didn't you just say so? DM me the address, I'll be there in an hour. I'll even crank your hog No, nope, I'm skipping it. No hog cranking. Okay. Why did that guy put cologne on his hog? Anyway, hey, Doug, Doug, did you know that pigs are roughly as smart, if not smarter, as a three-year-old human? I did. Pigs are very smart. That's why it's very sad hey, that they're so delicious. I'm watching your stream, but I have to go. I need to go watch the half-naked Adonis through his one-way mirror. <laughs> I need to get a good seat. <laughs> the spectacle starts at 3.40 p.m. Okay, yeah, well, that makes sense. What do I do when a recipe calls for extra virgin olive oil, but I've already unvirgined all of my olive oil? No more hog cranking comments! Ugh. You think I was kissing with the eyes? No. TTS delay check. They're probably waiting till marriage. Olive oil. <laughs> Why are kiss. so many people giving you so much money recently? P.S. Chunk some oil for me. Cheers. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Alright, let's move on. Doug. I'm planning on moving to Germany now thanks to all this talk about Cologne. Can you give me any tips? Funny you say that. Because, per the viewer's request, we are going to check out a commercial for the city of Cologne, Germany. <clears throat> Does this make us feel emasculated? Cologne. No, not that Cologne. This Cologne. Mm. We've always been an engine of innovation. Fun fact. We invented it. Do you think a hot girl and a hot guy are going to be kissing here? <laughs> Today, we drive on data highways. That doesn't count as a fancy car. By life science, biotech, and IT. And we love to entertain. Okay, that's... I don't know if that counts as a beach. This is the place. Oh, this could be no nipples. Startups and industry giants. Why are they putting all of their landmarks inside of... 17 million people live in our region. From yeah. all over the globe and all walks of life. Damn. And in all colors. Come on, show us a nipple. Here, there everybody's aren't, welcome. There are not penguins in... Or as we like to say... Jeder Jeck is anders. Jeder is anders Jeck. Und jed Jeck sind mal. We export goods and knowledge. Gay Penguins is not one of the bingo spaces. We're a great company. Close to Paris, Brussels, and Amsterdam. Trade City 
for 2,000 years. Why don't they just show the actual trains? Why are they pretending it's in the sky? It's a good train system. It's not necessary. The service industry and the trades are the heart of our economy, covering anything from Beethoven to your insurance. They we also prepare Europe's astronauts for their missions. Oh. Are the astronauts welcome to have nipples? With our famous beer. Cologne. The city that combines business with lifestyle. And yes, before you ask, Cologne also comes from Cologne. That's a pretty good commercial. I am not going to count that for the no nipples thing, because it's not an actual Cologne commercial. That... They're not going to show nipples in a city ad. Now, Super Sister by Coffee. Okay, um, that'll that'll palate cleanse later. Uh, no, this doesn't count. This doesn't count for the for the thing. No, this is just a good. This is a good commercial for Cologne. I I went to Cologne for a week for Gamescom. It was fucking beautiful. Oh, I love it there. Uh, it does not look like this, by the way. <laughs> they didn't actually show what anything looks like. The, ca the cathedral is not in the water. I don't think there are great white sharks in the fucking river of Cologne. That's just not accurate at all. And I don't know why they did that. Because it's plenty beautiful as is. <sighs> or great white whales, whatever these are called. Um, there are nodders. I just, <laughs> I mean, you guys, I'm not European, so I can't. In, in Germany, they, 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 these are called sharks, all right? I know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to count that for the bingo board or the prediction. Okay, when you watched this whale swim around the famous Cologne Cathedral... How did it make you feel? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Here's where, I, here's where I would put it, okay? Here's where I would put it. I am happy with my self-image. And I know that might be controversial. I just don't... Uh, really don't care about... Um, <laughs> this, the city of Cologne does not affect my self-image whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not a real man without this cologne. <laughs> hey, Doug, can you tell my group that our lab is due tonight and they need to check their emails? Hey, do your fucking work. I'd feel manlier if I visited. I, to some degree, yeah, because it's a beautiful city. Hello, Paxa. Can you call Doug Doug so that we can get this stream back on track? Okay, Cologne, the city, is going up into the horse deer. Alongside Jeremy Fragrance and Jedi Horse. The narrator for the Jean Paul Gautier is the French voice of Henry Cavill and Chris Hemsworth, and he has a very masculine voice. Hmm. Interesting. Buy Cologne. I can't. I can't. I don't think the city is up for sale. Total hey, Doug, GDP. Not sure if you knew, but that horse is a famous eco terrorist. You <laughs> might not want to give him a platform. If you look closely, at the end of the commercial, the horse kills its Jedi and uses his torso as a hat. Very fucked up. <laughs> Hi, dog, dog. Your streams Jedi have been horse. comforting me during intense wisdom tooth pain. I can't afford to fix them, so I have a stream idea. Twitch chat performs my wisdom tooth extraction. All right, guys. Uh, new fundraiser. We're going to do... Um, going to kick off a Tiltify campaign. So we need about... 67 billion euros in order to buy cologne. So, you know, bring that text to speech money in. Hi, Doug. Here is a hey, now we only need 66.9999999997 billion. To see seven Advent children yesterday for our date. <sighs> this is our third Valentine's together. Hell yeah. Lesbian pride. Congrats. Hey, Doug. Now that we've seen a commercial for Cologne, Germany, could we also see a commercial for Cologne, Minnesota? <laughs> Cologne, Minnesota. Ad. <laughs> the bathtub commercial was not people in the walls, it was a peep show. Check the room layout in the wide shot. You're right, you're right. Because yeah, the set was very strange. I've been feeding my pig meth to help it lose weight. 
His tolerance is pretty high in the bike as I buy from asked what I needed so much for and boy were they shocked when I explained that my hog needs a lot of cranking. I don't... Thank you. I don't know if that's what this is supposed to be. I'm at work right now and accidentally typed gay penguins into a professional email to the Australian government. <laughs> anyway, did you know that a pig can squeal louder than a supersonic airliner? No, I didn't. Um, I don't think... was the think... largest turbine engagement the Americans fought in World War II. Oh, really? There was a famous tank duel at the base of the Cologne Cathedral that was filmed by an army cameraman. Huh. You can find the footage on YouTube. I did not know that. It's fascinating to me that... So many German cities were, like, rebuilt to such a, you know, huge degree after the war. Meanwhile, in America, no city has ever been devastated like that. And so it's just all... never. It's never, like, rebuilt, you know? Matt TV... Uh, oh, Matt Van... I probably mispronounced that. Thank you for the 12 months. Chicago. I mean, there's been fires, right? I guess it's sort of similar. A lot of cities have fires, but at least not in the last, like, 70 years, right? 80 years, something like that. Uh, the White House burned down twice, but that was, I guess, that was 1812, right? Was, I mean, it's, I'm more thinking like in modern, in like modern society. I've not taught you anything about whales. Oh, right. Those are orcas. My bad. <laughs> um, I didn't, I'm fairly certain both Cologne or sorry. I'm fairly certain Cologne does not have either orca whales or penguins. It's in the middle of Germany. <laughs> it's just not the right environment at all. There, it's there's a river through it. It, it, it. Anyway, okay, we're we're pretty stoked about Cologne, the uh, city. But let us move on to okay. Maybe this one we toss in later. For now, I'm gonna keep doing this one. Uh, Doug, put this towards buying a German city, but only if it goes toward Munich. This one's only 15 seconds. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Get, get ready. Sure, sure, sure. Well, whichever uh, whichever one I can afford by the end of the stream. <clears throat> Ood Minrali! By Tom Ford. Okay, that's... Now we're in the ocean? Okay, I simple but effective. I like I like this shot a lot. I like this a lot. Is it meant to be like a mix? Is it implying no nipples were shown? No way. No fucking way. You're telling me this was a. Hold on. Look for nipples. The man is shirtless. No. Okay. Wait. Fucking. It's absolutely nipples. What are you talking about? All right, maybe freak out over that. I think, I know, this is, you know, it's pretty down the line. I would, I would say, fuck yeah, I'd be more masculine with that. That guy's cool as shit. That is, that guy's super fucking cool. But I'm not like, you know, really insecure about it. I don't even know if I could get a big promotion off that one. I'd be like, I'd feel more masculine. I think it'd be in between these two for me. Like, it's not crazy, but it is, it is, it is like, Fuck, I want to be that guy. I want to be him. Why am I not like him? But I'm not, like, unhappy with my own life now in the way that the boxing one made me feel bad. Hey, Doug. Hey, chat. Hey is for horses. Here's 300. Thank you. Certainly we can afford Stuttgart by now. Yeah, this is what I agree. I think it's just not, it's not doing enough yeah, my interesting stuff. to charity is no, you will get it soon. Yeah, don't worry. You can write off all your taxes. Tom Ford is the most expensive of them all. Interesting. Look, let me see if I can convince this you. This money is to buy Hamburg instead. Okay, I don't, I think, we're probably, I'm going to be honest, we're probably not going to be able to afford any of them. Not with all the orcas they have there. Those are expensive. I would, I think this is probably, you know what, I think I could get that big promotion tier. Here's why. Um, the mix at the end is like, okay, may, maybe in my life, what I've been missing out on is I'm too stuck in one way. And this is going to give me that kind of like mixture of different vibes that I need to really impress the people around me. Right. And I want to do this really bad. I want to learn to surf and I want to try sandboarding. 
It, it's really down the line, but I think it's a very solid, like, look at how much fucking cooler this guy is. It's not that cool. I th Maybe it's because I like surfing and, like, wakeboarding and shit, but... All right. I mean, you guys strongly feel that it's only a four, so we'll go with four. I would definitely feel a bit more masculine wearing it. That is true. Hey, Doug. Do you really want to buy cologne? Then you should get insurance against shark attacks. They don't show them on the news because the government wants to hide them, but they are pretty expensive. <laughs> okay, new merch idea. I sell really, really shitty insurance to you guys. Like, <laughs> like you get you get bit by a shark, and then you walk on land, and a rhinoceros hits you. <laughs> and otherwise, we don't cover you. And it's like a dollar a month. That's not very expensive. But <laughs> like the new duck duck merch insurance policy. Um <laughs> And but then like what you guys would probably make an effort to go have to like go get seriously injured. And I would have to pay a shitload of money. I feel so protected. I don't even know where in the world that would happen. I don't I don't think there's any place in the world where you could get eaten by a shark immediately into a rhino attack but there's like a timer it's like within 10 minutes of the shark attack you have to be attacked by the rhino that is actually fraud are you seriously telling me you think twitch chat is not is not capable of insurance fraud hey doug i just got back from getting over my fear of wolves <sighs> France, sailors, one-way mirrors, sex in unusual places, and Timothy Chalamet. Anyway, what are we doing today? Um, Doug. Fortunately, it seems none of that has popped up recently. Fire indeed still exists. Uh, I don't think that was at the beach. It, obviously, it shows a beach. I think we need a person on a beach. This is not the a beach. Doug this is a desert. My show up to, and I'm yelling you and rigged. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, this is the ocean. It's not the beach. I think he's wearing shorts, not underwear. This John's is town Pennsylvania has been destroyed by floods three times, most recently in 1977. Okay, but that's also like a tiny city, right? Like I've never heard of it, so I assume it's not very big. I'm gonna say this is not a beach. I think you need first off, it's not real. Secondly, I think we need a person at the beach. Like stand. I, I don't think a. I don't think a landscape scenic shot of a beach counts uh that is my interpretation of this rule sorry feel free to yell rigged if you disagree we're not even betting on this so who cares why are you guys even this passionate about it can you throw in a policy regarding penguin attacks what i'll do is i'll do insurance for if you get attacked by the gay orcas and penguins in cologne then you get a huge payout and you just pay me a dollar a month i just arrived why is there two whales next to Notre Dame? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> That's not... Breaking news. Eiffel Tower collapsed in sex-related incident. Also, German train system is famously unreliable. Is it? I thought it's famously reliable. Toast to toast, thank hey, you. Doug. Greetings from Cologne, Germany. So nice to hear you enjoy our little city. But sorry to tell you there actually are giant whales in our sky. Oh, they're in the sky now. Ooh, okay, city setting. I like this. I like I like the mix up. We've only had a city one time. Talk about gay penguins at work because I'm a wildlife biologist caring for animals at a nature center. Oh. Gay animals is real. Palette cleanse. Thanks for spreading awareness, Doug. You're welcome. Doug, your lack of basic animal knowledge is painful. I am going to save clips this year for the doggies about how much you suck at biology. Those are humpback whales. And whales and dolphins get really sick when they get lost in freshwater rivers. I want to see Doug sandboard and get a mouth full of sand. There is no way that there are a bunch of our do gay orcas live in Cologne, Germany. Do you know where Cologne is? It's not next to the. There's no way. There's humpback whales. Oh, this is the gay Cologne guy, 2024. There's no way that Cologne has whales in the river. I've been there. There's no way. Gay animals is real. I this isn't. I'm not denying that there are gay animals in the world. I'm saying there aren't. There aren't fucking humpback whales in Cologne, Germany. There are. 
define whale. I. There could be. They're in the sky. This is in the water, which is also not right. Okay. It's talking about your mom. Got it. Ask chat GBT. Americans pronounce that cologne. In Germany, we pronounce it cologne. Yeah. But if, for whatever reason in English, it's pronounced cologne. Um, are there gay whales in cologne? These commercials are making me feel like my life is boring. Why am I not sandboarding every day of my life? The question about gay whales in cologne seems to blend metaphor or humor with curiosity about animal behavior. If you're inquiring about homosexual behavior in whales, it's important to note that same-sex behavior has been observed Breaking in various animals. Eiffel Tower destroyed in sex-related incidents. Also, you should know the German train system is famously unreliable. The Tom Ford commercial had a guy with a thick board. <laughs> okay, that's true. <laughs> okay. I want a yes or no answer. No, there are no gay Typical orcas in the city of Cologne. Year old and smart and supersonic airliners don't squeal to my previous hog facts. You're right. You got me. Unrelated note: Did you know that pigs can and will eat human bones? This is not a threat. Hey, that guy skipped eating out so you can buy Berlin. But if the German <laughs> one is too expensive, you can get a different one. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can afford at the end. I will only buy your shitty insurance if I get a card to put in my wallet. Please respond to the... <laughs> okay, deal. Hey Doug, I heard you're in the German city market. Ulm stocks are good at the moment. Doug, I lost my virginity to your videos. Thanks, big man. I hope that's not true. But I would be curious what video. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm not. At a mention of wolf dogs, I am legally obliged to share. I used to work at a zoo and would take the 75 kilogram wolf dog for a walk. One time, it spotted and went after a rabbit. I am very small. I met God for a second and inhaled a lot of floor leaves. Thank you. Okay. Yes or no, gay animals is real. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. We did it. Uh, I don't think they're in Cologne, Germany, but okay. Uh, we're, we're moving on to, oh, Chris Hemsworth. Uh, that's going to be a celebrity, obviously, so. Ever heard of New Orleans? Can I get a pog in chat? The animals is real. <laughs> we, we did it, everybody. But New Orleans, I, I guess that's true. I'm just, compared to, like, Dresden in Germany, I just feel like it's very different. Where something was, like, bombed to oblivion, you know what I mean? But yes, Katrina's a good example. All right. Chris Hemsworth for the new Boss Bottle de, ooh, de Parfum. <clears throat> first things, first oh, God damn, I'm going to get muted. Um, I'm going to play Coffee by Super Sister over this. It honestly works better. You ask a question, can I come in for coffee Okay, so far, wearing a lot of suits. Doing a lot of running. It's just running in suits so far. There's nothing else. Okay, now he's actually gonna close. That's pretty good. 
and there were no nipples. Whoa! Chris Hemsworth, of all people, not giving us nipples? That's insane. Okay. Couple of bingo board items knocked off here for sure. First stream, Twitch is so confusing. How do I learn all the confusing lore? <laughs> also, this is legitimately kind of scary, so I think I'll cheer and go back to YouTube. Okay. Thank you very hey, much for the, for the huge support. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. delayed and as such horrendously inappropriate for the current discussion. Anyways, what are we doing today? <sighs> you, about, you got there. Thank you, Fizz, for the 10,000. Hey, That's a ton. Yeah. Appreciate it. Did you know that a dog's intelligence is equivalent to a human three-year-old's? Makes it all the more tragic that they're so delicious. Brown sad face. Um, there are no I nipples. If I start talking about voicemail. What? Oh. How? Have, hold on. Also, whenever I'm ending the stream, remind me to go unmute the Twitch VOD because otherwise we're gonna. in Germany has been saying there have been a lot of strikes with the public transit workers causing delays. Oh, why is this here? Um, did I move this? I think I'm, oh, features an A-list celebrity for sure. Insurance only covers ICD code W5621 SAR. Attacked by an orca. Initial encounter. The running wasn't slow motion, though. It was just running. None of it was slow-mo. Doug Doug insurance speed run any percent. It was? Wait, really? Um. Hey Doug, how many beer commercials did you see already? I am German and I see more than 10 about beer every day. Well, these have been cologne. Wait, 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 hold on. Was that slow? I mean, it's, so far we watched zero beer commercials. That seems very slightly slowed down. I don't know if that's slowed. If it was, it was really, really small. I think he's just jogging. That, okay, that was slow. Only for a shot. I don't know why, but... Right there. <laughs> There's like a half second of slow-mo running. Alright, this commercial... It's not over the top, right? It's, it's definitely way more subtle than any of the other ones. Now that counts as slow mo for sure. Th this is far, far more subtle, but I still think it does a good job of being like, this is the reserved, sophisticated man. Boss, yeah, this, I mean, it's pretty good. It's not so ridiculous that it makes you feel insecure in like five different ways. I was in fourth wall breaking. I think it's just solid, like across the board, good one. Um, slow motion running, it does hit. It's just Chris. It, yeah, it's basically just Chris Hemsworth. Um, but I think they they lean into that of like, okay, this it, all he does is run, change clothes, and put on cologne. He has no job and no friends. <laughs> I wish I was this masculine. That's the thing. It doesn't tap into any of the other stuff. I think it's kind of boring. Guy with a thick beard. Is that thick? Ah. Is that a thick beard? That's probably a thick beard. It's not thick, but they're not going to be thicker than this in a cologne commercial. I'm going to put it down. I think that counts. For 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 like a cologne commercial, I think that counts. Well, fuck, maybe we don't. No, maybe it's got to be like a it's got to be like a lumberjack thick beard. That's this is like what your beard looks like on Friday after you haven't shaved since Monday. Right? This isn't this it's like it is a beard. It is there, but it's you would not call this thick. Okay. No, we're sticking to the original description. Okay. New prediction. We've got... Let me not spoil it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Do we get two bingos? Yes. No. So this prediction... 
is that two lines have to be complete by the time we're done. Because I think one of them is going to be pretty easy. This one should be pretty easy. This one is probably going to happen. I don't know which other ones are really. Two men are kissing. Pretty unlikely. With this one, driving fancy car, man and woman on a boat. This is pretty likely, I think. We're going off of not all of them. It's for, it's the ones that we are watching midway through onward. So the Johnny Depp one doesn't count. Um, yeah, diagonal counts too. Can confirm. I'm currently staring up at a huge whale in the sky. How much are left? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more. So we got we got a good number more. Is this music from Fury? No, this is from Epidemic Sound. It's just Hi, a Doug. generic sound Whale library. from Cologne here. You smell <laughs> like shit. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, we've updated Bingo. Let us do a vote on the Chris Hemsworth commercial. Thanks for subscribing to Whale Facts. Did you know the sperm whale has a spermaceti organ? A large whale I would do, filled with an oily liquid? I could get that big promotion. Humans used to think it's sperm. Hence the whale's name, but it's actually for buoyancy control or echolocation. The only places where you could get attacked by a shark and then immediately attacked by a rhino is Africa and maybe India. Bull sharks can live in fresh water, so you just need to be swimming in a river in a national park by the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, this one, okay, not, not only does it make me feel like I could get that big promotion, it also, like... Chris Hemsworth looks like he's about to go get a promotion and be promoted to CFO, right? Like he, that, well, no, not CFO, COO. Like he looks like he's about to go get way too much money for working on Wall Street, right? And so th this is very much like if you've, if you're trying to network and like work your way up the corporate ladder, you need big boss cologne, right? And that's what they were going for. It's called big boss and it's called, it's fucking shot in New York City and all that shit. Dog. You might have said this earlier, but did mom respond to Bjorn? If so, what did she say? She said she did. It was not that exciting, though. She said, did your AI compose this? And I said, yes, it did. It was a bet on stream. Hi, Doug. Gay humpback whale here. I live in Cologne, Germany and would like some recognition. ChatGBT said you are exist. Okay. Boss one goes into big promotion. Let's which I very much agree with us. No <laughs> it's great that um, that that is contextually relevant in the stream. <laughs> okay. Hey Doug, I just wanted to let you know. Every time I ask a German how much I can buy Berlin for, they say nine. What a deal! Berlin purchasing stream when. You're famously not supposed Dressed to wear cologne for interviews. The worst of both really? Worlds. Besides the bombing, it was hit by historical flooding twice in the 2000s and 2010s. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. I actually remember growing up there and helping fill some bags. Damn, they have not had a good run of it. For the people saying German trains are unreliable, clearly you've never rode an Amtrak. Because one crashed into a person's car while I was like 40 meters away in my college class. The driver was fine. She had gotten out of the car long before. Yeah, I think if you took American public transit, you'd probably think higher of German public transit. Alrighty, let us move on to... One million intense. Love the name so far. Already feeling emasculated. Oh, quick palate cleanse, very quick. Get your olive oil out. Your fancy olive oil. This could be a black and white commercial, but I think it's just a silver room. Oh, no, this is black and white, I think. Okay, if it stays black and white, that's a bingo board. <clears throat> By Peiko Robani. One million intents. Okay. <laughs> this is good. Why is his why is his girlfriend in the bank vault? Why is his bedroom in the bank vault? Dude. Oh, 
Oh, no, it's not <laughs> <laughs> okay. One million intense. The new fragrance for men by Paco Rabanne. Wow. Dude, that is, that's the manliest man I've ever seen in my life. I am such a coward. Wow. Okay. That was pretty good, man. That was pretty fucking good. The fact that it's black and white and at the end he turns his, so he's like Midas? He like turns his girlfriend into gold? There's so many insane parts of this. So he's undressing his girlfriend by snapping. It's a, there's a lot of emphasis on him undressing his girlfriend with snapping. But I guess he's also like setting up his room and then he makes her gold. I don't want to um, be with an entirely gold <laughs> human. <laughs> so this loses me a little bit. I don't know, man. This is pretty strong. I think there's something about... It's the fact that it's in a bank vault. You know what I mean? Like, he's doing this in a bank vault. <laughs> he just destroys... I mean, there's so many layers to this. Obviously, it's mostly just sexual energy. But I like the idea this man is so powerful that he has this vault where his bedroom is in, and he just, like, wills the earth using snapping. Like, it's pretty fucking sick. I think it's gotta be in the top two tiers, but I don't know which one. Hey it's because she's gold. I mean, clearly- THST three-year-old are intelligent. Makes it all the more tragic THST, they're so delicious. <laughs> yeah, true. I think there's, like, they they lean into wealth in a good way here. I, I don't think wealth of just hey Doug, buy a really fancy sick. car I've really works. I've been able to move lately. Sitting um, in bed has made me really depressed, but your streams and videos have helped a lot. Love hey. you, Doug. Keep it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you feel better. I think what what is power, what's good about this is it's like As wealth on a ridiculous Orleans, level. It's not the same. Building still stood. We weren't bombed. Mm, yeah. I guess I, I'm not familiar with how New Orleans actually changed after but um like the level like they're they're talking about wealth on an insane level oh, I'm sorry that was rude of me only cheering the main character Doug <laughs> this one's for twitch chat <laughs> thank you Fizz that's a lot chat, you fools. I appreciate Bobby it thank you thank you should be in the top spot so that Doug has no choice but to dump the whole bottle on himself multiple times per week per a contract are we voting this high on ironically that was terrible Oh, she, oh, cause she's in the vault because she's made gold. Bullshit on that guy talking about rhino slash shark attacks. I can get attacked by both down at a local aquarium slash zoo combo. You right. just have to outrun the staff. It's going in. Holy shit! Everyone will think I'm hot here. I think this is probably correct. I asked my German friend to pick a number between eight and ten. They told me no. <laughs> um, it does. It does feel a little creepy. Which I think knocks it down a bit. I think it's a little too focused on sex, which I think knocks it down a bit. I mean, it's obviously a strong angle to to make a man feel insecure, but I feel like there needs a little bit more. There's not enough emphasis on like, look at how fucking awesome your life is. Right? I think he needed to snap more other things. He needed to like, if he had snapped like money into existence, that would be, I think, more compelling, right? Like, I think they could have, if there's like eight pillars of making a guy feel insecure about himself in modern society, I feel like you need to hit more of those pillars with the snapping, right? So I I, I agree this is in holy shit, everyone thinks I'm hot here. It's so creepy, it's comedy. Yeah, I mean, most of these are clearly comedic, right? I think it's it hit really strong in the wealth category and in the sex category. He did snap fire. I thought it was pretty good. I, I could have gone with S tier for that one. It was pretty solid. Uh, let me clear a few of these. Doug, when you held girlfriend auditions, did you make them watch some of your videos so they know what they're getting into? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, wait, do we get any bingo cards from that? say that after living in Japan, all of your public transits are unreliable. There was a case in Japan where the train left the station 30 seconds early and the company issued a public apology. <laughs> they did kiss, right? No, they didn't. There's no actual kiss. Okay, we still haven't gotten the free space of hot guy kisses hot girl. Um, the whole commercial is not, but okay, that didn't clear anything. All right, let's continue. I actually bought this for my boyfriend for Christmas and can confirm him now made of gold. <laughs> Okay, let me just say, I love the way this is opening. Conquer Your Greatness is the name of the commercial. Do you to a bank vault? Shame. You're missing out. Right, that's the thing. I feel insecure about that. Okay. It's a beach. This is not a beach. <clears throat> Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. If he has sex here, that's very unusual. It's pretty dope. <laughs> that is... Mm, this is a manly ass dude, but I don't feel bad about myself. You know what I mean? Is that a thick beard? Right, this is just like, God damn, what a man. But I don't... It didn't make me feel like I need the cologne to be this. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't evoke I have to purchase this, necessarily. It evokes, like, god damn, what a, what a fucking man. I want to be that. I, and, like, also, you know, this shot, I think, really... This shot is really weakened by the fact that there's not a naked gold woman next to it. I, dude, I still think, I think it's pretty high up, right? Like, the, the Chris Hemsworth business one was just like, you could probably get a promotion at Goldman Sachs, but this one is like, you are greater, you, you are, you are connected, like, every caveman ancestor procreated so that you could be here as the pinnacle of masculinity, you know what I mean? This is simple, but I think it's pretty fucking good. He's like hot. He's really hot, but it's he's like attainably hot, you know. Where it's, his clothing isn't that insane. I also like mountains a lot, so I'm skewed here. But also, he's just like he's also very isolated, right? I feel like a lot of com a lot of these commercials are about you need this to impress other people, and then with this one, it's like he seems like he's pretty happy with himself. Alone in the Himalayas, <laughs> like, like nobody. We have no evidence that anybody gives a shit about this man. Yeah, this is this is actually the um, commercial that Celeste is based off of. All right, uh, let us vote. I would go. Okay, did we get any of these? That was not a beach. Are we? Is that thick beard? Do we even see his beard at any point? There really was a white whale swimming through the river that runs through Cologne. He was called Moby Dick and even has its own Wikipedia entry. Moby Dick Rhyme. Huh. Okay, no, that is not a thick beard. That is not a thick beard. All right, so nothing cleared on the bingo board. How could you think turning women into gold is cool? She's going to die from gold poisoning. Someone call 911. Yeah, isn't that attractive? <laughs> What does conquer your greatness even mean? <laughs> I don't know, but it makes me feel emasculated. 
I would I would probably do holy shit, everyone would think I'm hot. I think it's better than you know what I get Why that does big man promotion. Have a cologne product? Is there a law reason for this? Is he stupid? It is also confusing. Like, why would you need? Why would you need this? There's nobody. You. Why would you wear cologne in the mountains? It is. It is a little strange. The one with the guy by himself makes me think the cologne is bad enough. They exiled him to the. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. Um. Okay. Not a lot of people feeling masculine wearing this. The only for good, never for evil one got to be the best cologne commercially. Are us. Okay. Only going in, I'd feel a bit more masculine wearing this. I would at least put it here, but I can, I can, I can go along with this. I understand why this wouldn't be that appealing. I think I just, being in the mountains and just being like, I'm fucking hot sounds awesome, but there's really no evidence of all the other, you know, levers to that this cologne will will do to your life, right? Or I would genuinely buy this one. I love how few of these have someone using cologne. Right, it's awesome. The Johnny Depp one is like the most removed from cologne, I think. <laughs> it's so it's so ridiculous. Okay. Um our next one. Ooh, alerts are actually caught up. That hasn't happened in a while. We've only got a few more. Next up, Ralph Lauren, purple label. How it choose to feel five gum. Okay, hey. There's probably gonna be a beach here. Any beachers in chat? <clears throat> Ralph Lauren. This is pretty strong. Technically, they're not at a beach yet. Travel into the intense. The new polo blue parfum by Ralph Lauren. Okay, that's pretty down the line. That was, that was good. That was good. They were at a beach at the end, yes. This shot, I think, is what maybe pushes it up a tier. This is where you're like, you are you are a god amongst men if you wear this. Tra and then this is them surfing it on an island. <laughs> into the intense. The new polo blue parfum by Ralph Lauren. I'm a little confused on like what they're doing. I feel like he he needs to like do more for, for me to really be emasculated, right? Like he's just on a boat and then he jumps off a boat. That's this is very attainable, but it's a little too attainable, I feel like. I mean, he, okay, that being said, he's driving a fucking yacht, right? I'm counting it as a beach. Travel into the intense. The new polo blue parfum by Ralph Lauren. <sighs> I don't feel, it, it's a little too down the line of just like, hey, hot guy and girl on a boat. It could be you. It's a sandbar, not a beach. The guy in the mountains committed terrible crimes and he was exiled like a supervillain. But he also smells nice. <laughs> I... I guess technically you're right. A sandbar is not a beach. Beach definition. This looks like a commercial for the Fire Festival. The shore of a body of water, especially when Sandy or Pebbly... Oh, no, 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 it counts. That is a beach. Okay, no, that's a beach. Sandbars are still beaches. Or have beaches. I'm surprised that I haven't seen an ad for a gamer cologne commercial where the bottle includes RGB coloring. Shore means border. I'm counting that. The way I watch you stream is convoluted. I use the YouTube video because we have rewinding here. 
but I overlay the YouTube video over Twitch, so I can use Twitch chat, but I use safaris to dono. I watch on my phone. <laughs> okay. Those two men were holding hands at one point. You're viewbotting me. basically kissing. Add it to the bingo. Uh, somehow we have not gotten the free space. <laughs> I think that was a beach. I'm counting that as a beach. Oh, definitely man and woman are on a boat. Yeah, that easy clears. Okay. The this row could definitely happen. Two men are kissing. Smells good in a mountain. Oh, you it can't really see it. Really make a woman turn to gold from sheer will alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys are apparently happy with your self-image on this one. I would say I would have gone for more of a um I'd feel a bit more masculine wearing it. Or I could get that big promotion. I would have gone higher, honestly. Hey, Doug. What would happen if you wear all the cologne at once? Uh, I think all the women who've been secretly watching me in the bathroom would turn to gold. Okay. Dude, I think both of these should have been higher. I think you guys aren't appreciating men on boats and in glaciers. But alas, it is down here. Underwear? No, that's a swimsuit. That's not underwear. That one I'm not counting. That's bullshit. Wrong tier. Oh, right, you're right. It's down here. Really? I'm happy with myself, Ooch. What is a boat if not an extremely fancy car? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't count. I'm surprised at how hard them kissing is. They just always get close to kissing. Where does Sex Panther rank? That's just easy S tier, Jerry. Okay. We've only got, I think, four more. Oh, this is this is the one somebody requested. Good, good, good. One and a half minutes. Return of Barn Finders when? Mm. Only if Barn Finders wins the clone tier list. This is looking like fancy car right off the bat. <sighs> okay, it's not loading. Now it's loading. Let's go. All I need is five minutes. If you can see the I'm definitely going to get DMCA, but whatever. Is, five minutes. If you read is he going to run her over? Oh, no. One for the voices. One for the touch. One for the soft grin. And then the kisses. Is she? And then the kisses. All I need is five minutes. All I need is five minutes. All I need is five minutes. Where is he? Where is this? <laughs> I don't think there's like barber shops along the California coast. All I need is y'all. All I need is your view to picture your position. We could get away, ride horses, sail on the bay, drink from the sauces, and then the kisses. I think that was pretty good. I think there's a lot of elements that tap into like, you would be so much more of a man if you wore this. Couple things. First off. The fact that there's all these women who are like chasing after him, but he doesn't, he doesn't care, right? I think it's trying to imply like, you'll have so many women pining after you that you won't, like you, you'll have so many options, you won't even care, right? Like it's not, it's just, this is the norm. It's the norm so much that you're not shocked by it whatsoever. No, because there's three different women who are like, there's one skateboarding at him, there's one shaving him. There's one in the pool. And all of them he's like ignoring. It's like the cool guys don't look at explosions thing, but trying to adapt that for, this is how many women old will pine for you. Like this one, he's just like walking away from this hot pool lady. Um, it, it's probably a little too slow. I think the lifestyle, he's gay. <laughs> Saint Laurent for the gay man. For the classy gay man. 
I mean, there could be. Maybe that is what's going on here. He's just not interested. He's like, what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, lady. I'm into men. I'm just not interested. Sorry. That would okay. That would explain a lot more of the ad. <laughs> I think we get fancy car. It's an old timey car. It's meant to be extremely sophisticated. This is definitely fancy car. It's an, he's an asexual Chad. <laughs> Okay, bingo board. I think this is pretty good. It's not the best. The song says, let's fly away, and then it's video of a boat. Anyway, there is an old German proverb, wench by a flugel hätten, vera alles möglich, meaning if bigs had wings, everything would be possible. It might even be from Cologne. Doug, the barber shop is clearly in the mountains of the Bank of Ott. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thick beard? No, that was not a thick beard. Absolutely not. He has a light beard that is then shaved. The barber had a thick beard. Wait, you're right. I was just using the bathroom and suddenly I turned into gold. What the heck did you do? Oh, sorry, I snapped. Why are all these colognes named blue? Uh, because blue's the hottest color. Okay, technically that guy has a thick beard, so... Hey Duck, I'm no bingo expert that isn't a free space supposed to be the easiest to cover. This is clearly a conspiracy. Okay, Big Beard is covered. This is definitely in color. So this is not a black and white commercial. I think the whole thing has to be black and white. Hey Douglas Douglas. So this moves to guy with thick beard. Is it possible to create a masculine hair restoration potion by mixing all these together? Again asking for a friend. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, did you see how much hair all the people wearing these colognes have? Doug, there's an Old Spice cologne you should look up. Just look up Old Spice. Look at your man. Eh, it's not cologne, is it? Isn't that body wash? I mean, that, that's obviously a very iconic one. How? Wait, hold on. How? How is that breaking the fourth wall? How is this possibly breaking the fourth wall? What are you talking about? How is that not black and white? Um, I guess the whole commercial, except for the end. The nod? No. Nodding at the camera is not breaking the fourth wall. Breaking the fourth wall is referencing that it's a commercial or like doing a cut or something like that. That is not breaking the fourth wall. That's just him looking seductively. It literally is. What? Okay. We're asking ChatGPT. I'm watching a cologne commercial where a hot guy drove around in a hot car and then at the end he looked at the camera and nodded. Would you consider him nodding at the camera as breaking the fourth wall or is that just him looking seductively at a random location? The concept of breaking the war fourth wall typically refers to when the character acknowledges the presence of the audience. They can be through direct or more subtle means, such as a knowing look or gesture. Okay. If the nod is meant to directly engage with the viewer, acknowledging the viewer's presence or drawing technique uh, or drawing them into the experience, it can be seen as a form of breaking the fourth wall. I'm gonna say it's fourth wall, but it's not black and white. I think the whole commercial has to be black and white, which is very hard now in retrospect because they're always going to show color on the actual bottle at the end. But that's, we wrote whole commercials black and white. It has to be fully black and white. Hey Doug, came from YouTube to say you converted me to a regular stream viewer as I watched no other ever grabbed my interest. Great stress. Thank you. Also known of these hold a candle to Jedi horse. Yeah, Jedi horse. Is pretty driver. great. Driving these nuts through your mouth, <sighs> Gotten. Thank you. The breaking of the fourth wall is that he only cranks his hog for five minutes and they're singing about it. Okay. Armani. Aqua de Gio. I don't know how to pronounce you any of these. You should watch Phantom, the new fragrance for men. Paco Rabanne, it's whack. 
I'll probably, we'll do a, a quick lightning round for suggestions at the end. But for the bingo board and tier list, we'll just finish out this list, which I think has three more. <clears throat> oh, right, right. We didn't vote the last one. Okay. For this guy driving around in a car and getting a haircut. Ooh, we are really split on this. I could go... I'd be like, I'd feel a bit more masculine wearing this. I think it's a really good commercial, but no part of it, like, really resonated with me. Like, in terms of did it make me feel insecure? No, not really. Ugh. In biological terms, humans belong to the taxonomic group known as Animalia within the kingdom, so technically speaking, all these men are interacting with animals. You are technically correct. And I will not use that interpretation. Alright, I'll give it a few more seconds. It looks like people are agreeing I'd feel a bit more masculine wearing this, but this is really, really split, actually. Very few people thought it was an S tier, which is, I guess, what really matters, but... This is where I would go with it. I'd feel a bit more masculine. Personally, being on the glacier would make me feel way more masculine than driving around in a car, but... Okay. Aqua di Gio. Wait, was that a... Wait, was that underwear? Aqua di Gio. Giorgio Armani. This one feels targeted at uh, homosexual men or for girlfriends buying their man cologne. Which is funny, because that's uh, the cologne I have. However, um... I, it doesn't, it just didn't do that much to me, right? It's just like a, I don't know. It's just a guy swimming. He was swimming, so it might have been swimwear. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call his underwear. Doug confirmed gay. I can't, it's not really how sexuality works. I don't think, but I could be wrong. Is this somebody's ass? Am I going to get, is this a butt? Am I going to get banned for Twitch? I, sh I probably shouldn't be showing it repeatedly. Is this a butthole right there? What is going on here? What part of the human body is this? Somebody said elbow. Where is the arm? It's his chest. Oh, I guess if it's his butt, his arm being here wouldn't make any sense. You can see the nipple. Oh, is this the nipple or is that the nipple? Oh, this is the nipple. Oh, okay, I get it. I don't know. This, this one feels this one feels pretty weak to me. I, I don't think it does anything. I think just showing a hot dude it isn't enough to to emasculate a man, right? You got to be like, here's a hot dude who's doing the coolest shit ever. You didn't realize you wanted to punch somebody in the Eiffel Tower, right? Um, I wouldn't feel worse about myself. I <laughs> know I like this cologne. That's that's bullshit. <laughs> it smells great. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hey, Jube Jube, does this mean whenever you talk to Twitch chat, you're breaking the fourth wall? I think it's whenever I look at the camera. Okay, I don't feel worse about myself using Doug, this I don't cologne. Know if you remember me mentioning my roommate looks and talks like Parks the last stream, but I just found out new information about him. He's trying to get into law school. Disclaimer, Parks is not a lawyer. It sounds like he'll follow the Parks path. She whispered. Aqua di Gio. No. Giorgio Armani. That is that is uh, that is not a lady whispering. Um. <clears throat> oh, wrong thing. Uh. Okay. 
Presumably. <laughs> I think I think we will go off of our uh, best guess. This one is going into the I would feel worse about myself tier, despite the fact that it smells great. Was the whole thing black and white? No, there's color. We uh, you didn't no. Aqua di Giorgio Armani. <laughs> She's a girl. Joe. Uh, this was never about the quality of the cologne. You're right. You're right. You are completely right. I said from the beginning, this is not about the quality of the cologne. I really enjoy this cologne I got. But we were talking about commercials specifically. In which case, is apparently dead last. That's as close as we're getting to black and white. The, not, it, we're not going to get a fully black and white commercial. There's no way. Doug, that's the cologne that you have. Well, take your shirt off and start sweating a lotion, bud. I don't wanna. Does that mean that's what I have to do? Okay. This is a very strong opening. I mean, the guy in the shower is literally washing the cologne off. <laughs> that's true. So many of the people wearing the cologne are just immediately washing it. <laughs> okay, okay. This one rocks? Okay, I'm excited. I think this is the one that I saw a while ago and then had the idea to do a cologne tier list. Okay. Get ready to feel emasculated. Underwear. Well, he has a cape. Is this one where he shoots the arrow? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, what a man. Why is he even doing that? <laughs> Versace, Eros. Oh, and then, then he that. shoots the fragrance. Well, that doesn't even make sense. Then it's ruined. Wow. That's pretty fucking good, dude. Okay. All right, we got an update bingo board. First off, we got a lot to talk about here. A lot to dive into. Why did the guy fight a mushroom cloud into the water? That, I don't think that was the intention. Close up of a crotch shot, not really. Guy wearing only underwear, he was wearing shoes. Doug, please don't break the fourth wall, that's the wall I'm living in. <laughs> please, I'll stop using your credit card to buy Twitch bits. Wait. To prove it's your credit card, it's a visa that starts with four. I always knew I wanted to pork my wife in the Eiffel Tower, but every time I pitch the idea, she seems hesitant. Okay. We have a, a hard decision to make here. This man we is wearing this shoes. Stream. This man is wearing shoes. Does that count as only being an underwear? I would say no. Okay, what is the guy wearing only underwear? Okay, we they got aren't washing it off. They are swimming in the cologne. Okay, different. <laughs> yeah, that's the ocean of cologne. <laughs> Uh, okay, different question. Sandals. It. I would say shoes count. If you're wearing shoes and underwear, underwear, he has sandals on too. Um. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Okay. Different question. Uh. If you saw a guy wearing underwear and a pair of shoes, would you classify that as him wearing? Uh, so I'm only wearing wearing only underwear. Or does the fact that he's wearing shoes In Chinese mythology, the divine archer shoots down nine suns to save the earth. Apparently that stunt was sponsored by Versace. And Red Bull probably. <laughs> Alright, let's see. If a guy if is wearing underwear and a pair of shoes, it's and more accurate. Cops on me, I can't say. Wait, 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 wait. I have shoes on. <laughs> That's true. Uh, it's more accurate to say he's wearing more than just underwear. The addition of shoes means he's not solely in underwear, even though the primary garment is underwear. The phrase "wearing only underwear" suggests underwear is the only piece of clothing, excluding any accessory. So in this case, you might say he's wearing underwear or shoes to be precise. Underwear and shoes to be precise. You'd probably get arrested by the police for. Only wearing underwear, but I don't think this counts. To be fair, though, I don't think this is going to get you a bingo anyway, because we have one more, and that guy has to be driving a motorcycle. 
It's also was not a close-up crotch shot. Woman whispers seductively. Is that how it ended? This <laughs> is so okay. That is kind of a close-up of a crotch shot. It's not. It's not close though. No, 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 no. It's a crotch shot, but I wrote close-up of a shot crotch shot. Right. That's not a close-up. It's his whole body. That's absolutely not a close-up shot. Versace, Eros, the new fragrance for men. Definitely woman speaking seductively, though. Dude. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> the final cologne commercial. We'll get two bingos and win the bet if a guy kisses a girl. <laughs> How is the free space? How is this so hard? Okay. It's a free space in the sense that that should have happened in every commercial. No, it's not free. It has to be a hot guy kisses a hot girl. That's not how free space works. It is in my bingo board. Hey, Doug, have you heard of goodatstreaming.com? Think you'd like it. Got him. There's no way that's real. I want to make sure this isn't porn or something. Hey, Duke, Doug, this last oh. donation of the day. There is a wild goes- Slavic fragrance by Wolf Brothers called Boar, which smells like apples, truffles, dirt, dry wood, and fur. I drank it once and turned into 30 to 50 wild hogs, each one cranking another. <laughs> hey, you. Doug. I can completely understand the no-hog talk rule while making a super important tier list. But in the future, can you do a stream specifically dedicated to hog talk? I feel like it would be a good bonding experience for all of us. I will Obviously, consider it. It's not perfect. I've considered it, no. See if I'm wearing my sandals. <laughs> I think if you're wearing sandals and a bow, then you're going to be fine to go into Denny's in just your underwear. Okay. Hey, Doug. You are horrible at picking free spaces. The question is not how horrible I am at picking free spaces. The question is, how emasculated do I feel by this commercial? And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm just going to tell it to you straight. Pretty emasculated. All right. This hits me on multiple levels. Um, first off. The confidence to wear this, and he pulls it off. Insane. Secondly, the kind of, like, this isn't just, oh, he's this dude goes on a glacier, right? He's, like, walking through the ruins of Athens to shoot this. He's ripped as hell, throws off his, like, why is he doing this? He's so cool in the rain. I want to look that cool in the rain. But, like, okay, what I like about the shot is he's like, no, I have to do this. Like, he's he's given, like, the most important role in, in all of human history, and he knows it's a heavy burden to bear, but he's going to bear it because he's that much of a fucking man. And then I think the only thing it misses is... Like sex, sexuality, right? Like, yeah, you're gonna get so many girls or whatnot, and that's where it comes in and saves it at the end. Versace, Eros, the new fragrance for men. By showing that there's a, there's some hot woman in the clouds who is uh, comment like just watching you shoot arrows. It, yeah, it transcends sexuality. This one is pretty. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty fucking good. Let's get the votes. Is he, like, rebelling against the Olympians? Is that what's going on? It's actually generally considered not a great idea to show an actual kiss on screen since the build-up is considered more appealing and actual kissing isn't necessarily considered appropriate for all ages. We did have one commercial that had kissing. My source is that I made it up, but still I'm right. I, I mean, hey Doug, I think you, you, you are right. Did you streaming this on joystick.tv? Uh, I haven't yet, but that's a good idea. Also, his sandals are insane. They're like metal. <laughs> like, why? 
the the underwear is insane. Everything about this is insane. Guys, this isn't the Hassanabai broadcast. There are no hogs here. <laughs> I think what really pulls it off is this shot. <laughs> like <laughs> our cologne is so good, we destroy it in front of you. Uh, right, right. It's like there's some there's a level of deranged self confidence with this one that it, it definitely doesn't make any fucking sense. And if any slight adjustments would not make me feel as emasculated, but this one so is much, like he shoots it with a bow. But that's the thing, right? That's pretty masculine. Okay, this one is going hey, all the way up. Are you considering doing in more of these ad reviews with ranking and a bingo card? For example, 1990s to 2000s electronics and video game ads. Oh, that would be fun. Option. They get very weird and sexual. Yeah, that, that would actually be a fun time. I'm not like super. I don't want to do tons of reaction content. I generally just don't find it very interesting for myself. But that would be fun to do old video game commercials. Crotch at start. <sighs> look, look, look at the bingo board. It doesn't matter if we oh close up the crotch shot. Let's come back to the crotch shot if we even get two other bingos. It depends what the last one is, right? Bow and arrow is an instrument. <laughs> no, it's not. Watch it out of principle. That's not a close-up. It's his whole lower half. That's not a close-up. I, I think it's the focal point, but that's not a close-up. That's not what a close-up shot is. Yeah. It's a crotch shot. It's not a close-up of a crotch shot. A close-up means it would take up most of the most of the screen. That is directly zooming in on it. No, because it's his entire lower body. If part of his lower body was cut off, then yes. But it's not a... Like, that's not a close-up shot because it's an entire lower half of his body. What is considered a close-up in movies or film? I think you're super wrong on this one. That tightly frames a person object. For example, showing their face. This is talking about typically fills most of the frame, isolating it from the surrounding environment. This is not isolated at all. This is just super wrong. This is not tightly framed. If this was the frame right here, that would be a close-up. Even this. But the fact that it shows a ton of the background, there's emotional impact. It doesn't matter. Something being emotionally impactful does not mean it's a close-up. This is why they're used. That's not the definition of one. They also abstract the subject from surroundings, makes the setting less discernible. That's not, yeah, none of this happened. Planned and valid. No, 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 absolutely not. That guy was second on the list to play Katniss Aberdeen in Hunger Games. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence didn't want the role. <laughs> so true. Okay, guys, on the last com commercial, which we're about to watch, has to have a hot guy kissing a hot girl for the double bingo to happen. I have a film degree. That's a medium shot. Thank you. I can trust you because you said I have a film degree. Ask ChatGPT about the free space. No. To me, it was very clear that this is a free space because a hot guy is going to kiss a hot girl. Hey, Doug. Just want you to know that a bow is literally an instrument dot dot slash an instrument of death. <laughs> I don't... <sighs> no. I'm not counting that. Does it count as a close-up if I lean into where his groin is the only thing I see? <laughs> That is you doing live editing of the commercial. I don't have a film degree. Pretty sure that was filmed on a camera. Well, I trust you. You admitted you don't have a film degree. I appreciate your honesty. He's not really playing it. Um, okay. Let's move on to the final commercial. We need a hot guy kissing a hot girl here. What?
play it? <laughs> um, I don't know why this is in the list, uh, but it's Air New Zealand spelled backwards. <laughs> okay. This is what's in the list. If a guy kisses a girl, then, then you won. What is sh this whole commercial is about? Welcome to Middle Earth, my friend. I'm here to guide you on your journey. So cease your rebel rousing and listen very carefully and obey all crew member instructions and all illuminated signs. If the seatbelt sign were to illuminate, this is an ad for New Zealand Air. Your seat right away. Make sure all valuables at your feet are pushed under the seat in front of you. And fasten your seatbelt low across your hips. Although we do we have riding a horse? Is that in there? The flight, if you do need to get up, release by okay, that's it. That's interacting with an animal. There's another bow instrument. Oxygen is precious to you beyond measure. So if an oxygen mask should drop down from above, the cross shot? That's the not a cross shot. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Make sure all valuables at your feet are pushed <laughs> under the seat in front of you. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt low across your hips. Although we recommend that is a close up. Fasten through the flight. If you do need to get up, release by lifting the lever and pressing down on the button. Oxygen is precious to you beyond Horses measure. are so motorcycles. No, they're not. Drop down from above. Pull down on the mask. Place over your nose and mouth and adjust the elastic on both sides for a secure fit. There's no need to... Playing an instrument! The doesn't inflate. <laughs> There's plenty of oxygen flowing through free. If you have halflings or young ones, secure your own mask before helping with this. <laughs> it's another interactive this animal. During takeoff or landing, brace yourself on the seat in front of you. I myself prefer the more compact method. Put your hands on your head, your elbows on either side of your legs, and your feet flat on the floor. When seated in business premier, sit upright, rest your hands on your thighs, and keep your feet firmly on the floor. Yeah, that was Tycho with you. Life jackets are easily put on while seated. Just rip open the pouch, slip it over your head, clip the waistbands together, and tighten. In economy class, if this couple kisses, seat, that wins it all. Seated in a sky couch, it's in your leg rest. In premium economy, it's here under your seat, and if you're seated in business premier, it's located here beside you. Inflate your life jacket by pulling on the red tab. But only when leaving the aircraft. Don't be shy, kiss the girl. Please kiss the girl. If you need to we need a kiss. A we need a kiss in this air commercial. Crew will provide cute little life jackets for our littlest people, should you need one. Smoking anything, including electronic cigarettes, anywhere on board is forbidden territory, as it's dangerous. <gasps> We have lighting in each aisle to guide the way out if it's dark. Your crew are now pointing out your exits. Your nearest exit could be behind you. Count the rows to the exit so you know the fastest route out. He kissed the pipe. That doesn't count. We need a we need a romantic kiss. Beard. That's a long, that's a big ass beard. We already have beard. Are they getting married? They've, they've got a kiss, right? It's going to end with a big kiss. It's time to stow all electronic devices. As you're on board a triple seven aircraft, Peter Jackson is definitely going to kiss the guy's girlfriend, right? Any time. Peter Jackson is going to come in and steal the girlfriend. Card or ask one of the flight attendants. Okay, they're going to kiss the orcs. Wait, they're actually going to kiss the orcs! There's no kiss so far. No kiss so far. Thank you for embarking upon your journey with Air New Zealand. May your path always be guided by the light of the stars, and may the future bestow upon you all the happiness and adventure our Middle Earth has to offer. Thanks, Elijah Wood. That's a wrap, everyone. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Well, it's definitely fourth wall breaking. Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh. <laughs> okay. You might think this is rigged. But this was in the original list of cologne commercials. This is what Perry prepared as the 17 cologne commercials. I am going to count it. I don't know if that's actually two bingos, though. I didn't count the cologne Germany commercial because that was added in as a suggestion from the mods during the stream. With the New Zealand Air cologne commercial. <clears throat> Man interacting with animals. Definite X. One bingo up here. You need one more for the believers to win. A close-up of a crotch shot. Definitely yes. And that is too big. Also playing an instrument. Um, and I think I saw the orcs kissing. Which means congratulations, believers. You got the entire outer board. Well done. Hey Doug, I have a thin degree. That's a cold sub sub. This is total bullshit, but I have to give it to you. It's based off of the list I was given. The believers win. It's not two bingos, it's four. Commercials aren't really allowed well, it's like to three. Have full on kisses like they aren't allowed to show people drinking beer so you can't get the free space. It's a forbidden space. Wait, was there any commercial? One of the Congratulations, commercials, Doug. I'm you trying, did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. Doug. You're amazing. Like, wow. Doug, that was so What an amazing game in person. He's, He's the best, best gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. You're incredible. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Oh, no, I'm not hungry. You can, you can have it all. Why was the perfume chosen as the spokesperson for airline safety? Slash because it knew how to spritz out important safety instructions. This one was kissing, right? This cheer is for Perry I guess for single-handedly saving Bingo. Technically, it cuts right before the kiss. They could be kissing here. I would have counted that. But technically, they I didn't. remember this air safety video. It was peak. In the very first one, they did, yeah. But the very first one, we didn't... Uh, yeah, the very first one definitely is kissing. Wait, maybe they don't. Do they ever actually kiss? If you want to love wow. Can I have five bottles of that last cologne? It sounds right up my ally. Te technically, their lips did not touch there. Two. Oh, the lighthouse one. Yeah, they were definitely kissing. And I mean, if we had started bingo at the beginning, we would have gotten that for sure. influenced me to get some cologne, but then I looked up the prices and they're like 150 USD a bottle. So anyway, yeah, it's expensive. I decided to just not shower and let my natural aroma attract the ladies. That's how it works, right? <laughs> yeah, it's commercial. called Musk. It's a very informative safety video. Uh, it's in the list of cologne commercials, and that is what this stream is based off of. You can say that it's rigged uh, because it quite literally is, but the believers win the bingo. The more important thing here is... What are horses if not medieval motorcycles? Um, how emasculated did you feel by the New Zealand commercial? <clears throat> Let's find out. A hug is just kissing with chests. I'm not a real man without this clone. Okay, well... Uh, okay, New Zealand Air apparently goes up into S tier alongside Jeremy hey, Fragrance this and, is the and Wales. exam person from last stream. I just wanted to tell you that I passed. Congrats! Well done, well done. I think there was some kissing in the Jedi horse commercial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for your consideration, Jedi horse again. Uh, we now are going to vote on which is the top cologne if in amongst New all these. Wins, you have to buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to New Zealand. I have stuff to do. I'm busy. There's Jedi horse, the scandal one where he's boxing the Eiffel Tower. This was for Cologne, Germany. This was this is where he shoots Doug. the archer. I'll see you at next year's Dougie's for most rigged. That's fair. That This was pretty rigged.
This was him shooting an arrow into the sky. This is a safety commercial for Air New Zealand, and this is Jeremy Fragrance. Jedi horse again for your consideration. What is the essence of a hero? Power. Hey, Doug. Speed. Not the TF2 guy, but you should just buy New Grace. Zealand, Cologne, and a Jedi horse. A horse or, I guess, a bow and arrow. Qualities. That is why I train with horses. I must be stronger than the horse. <laughs> Faster than the horse. So good. More beautiful than the horse. But it's not enough to merely train with horses. I must join it in the Jedi Ocean, <laughs> where the Force will surround us. In the Jedi Ocean! Penetrate us. Bind us. To become a hero, I must first become... a horse. Jedi Horse. From Burberry. <laughs> Even the text tracking is, like, bad. <laughs> It's so fucking good. Okay, what is the best cologne? Is it? Uh, um, let me play dramatic music. Jedi Horse. Scandal. The boxing in the Eiffel Tower one. Cologne, Germany. The Archer guy. Air New Zealand... Or Jeremy Fragrance. Half of these are not things that I can purchase. Okay, it looks like a heated battle between the Jedi horse and purchasing a ticket to New Zealand. And we'll call it. With absolutely... No influence from anybody else in three, two, shit. Hold on. Like, give me, uh, we need some, remember Jedi horse guys? I guys, remember Jedi horse? Stronger than the horse. Faster than the horse. More beautiful than the horse. I'm not going to do, hold on. But it's not enough to really train with horses. Um, I must join it in the Jedi Hey, mods. Where the force will surround. Uh, mods, would you mind throwing up something real quick? Could you, um, time anybody out who says five? <laughs> this is on an unrelated note. People have been spamming five too much in my community. I, I think we finally need to start kind of locking that down. Wait, hold on. Is there Air New Zealand merch? You rigged it with having New Zealand air safety video, so now you have to buy it. <laughs> I can... <laughs> I can buy a travel book. This may be too late, but canonically there are force-sensitive animals. Why are their jackets $500? I'm not gonna buy that. They have wine? This is a... Why would an Duh, airline company- These hobbits were part of a civil uprising against a local government official. You should be careful with showing them on stream. What is a keep cup? You promised to fly to New Zealand. The only clothing that they have is a $450 jacket. What, what is it? Hold on. What is this for? We'll, we'll come back to the vote. Just a sec. Uh, ignore this. This is a... Th there's a glitch. The voting is still active. Um, how much is a ticket to New Zealand? Look, after a Valand MS flight simulator, you should have learned that this community really loves aviation for some reason. <laughs> That's Why true. are you surprised? Okay, let me just get a quick. Simply buy the tickets and don't go.
see you in New Zealand Doug. Fun horse fact. The lower Wait, this is sending me to China. No, 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 no. Fingers with a hoof carrot and being like nails in their knees, the equivalent of a human wrist. You can't unsubscribe from horse facts. Sorry, bud. I'm sorry, Doug. I forgot you were a coward. Okay. Um. Let me make sure this doesn't show any sensitive information. If I'm willing to pack up my bags and leave in five hours, it'll only cost $1,600. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I'm busy. <laughs> I have shit to do. I'm supposed to be at the streamer awards. Wait, maybe I could get back in time for the streamer. <laughs> Sorry, Cutie, not gonna be able to make it. I had to go to New Zealand. They, uh, New Zealand won the Cologne tier list. Okay. Uh, what does Doug buy? Jedi Horse, Cologne, or Merge from Air Zealand? Uh, uh. I know this is not the the battle that you wanted, but it's the battle you must fight, chat. Which of these is better? Doug, you coward. And give it to Poxa as a late Valentine's Day gift. Buy a ticket, go to the airport duty free, buy cologne, and leave. What? Oh, hello? What? Parkshire? Hello, Douglas. Douglas. Parkshire, I have a question for you. Okay. If I were to buy you, uh, this is real, a flight to New Zealand, you leave in five hours from LAX, would you go? No, because I'm in Las Vegas. Oh, I, I'll send the. It'll, I'll buy it from Las Vegas. You'll depart from Las Vegas. But I need to be there for Saturday because Danny's coming. Danny will understand. She would know that you wouldn't pass up on a trip to New Zealand. Besides, why you're coming back on Saturday. What? Why would I leave for New Zealand and then come back by <laughs> Saturday? Huh? Because I have to buy... Like no, I gotta buy a ticket. Cause is it, this it, like one of those loyalty farming things? N no, I would need you to pick me up cologne is basically the only reason. What are you talking about? Air New Zealand is the best cologne, so I have to buy something from it. I was wondering if you wanted to go to New Zealand tomorrow. Or, sorry, in a few hours. Is Billy Ray making you do this? No. This is chat. This is streaming. Oh, you're live on stream? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay, I guess this, this makes a little bit more sense now. I thought you were calling me. Just Wh asking it randomly. What? I, no, it's not random. Oh, but apparently Billy is asking you to do this. Okay. Well, still, do it for no. do it for Billy as a late Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> no, that's, that's not how. First of all, it's not how Valentine's Day gifts work. Okay. Second, I thought that she thought you were alone to pick up or something. I wanted to be a specific one from New Zealand. Second, third, there is a sh you can ship things. You don't have to dispatch a human being to pick up your cologne. You can order it, and they will ship it to you. No, I, I have to buy a ticket from Air Zealand because it won the tier list. It beat Jedi Horse. What is a Jedi Horse? Parsha, you're going to have to trust me on this. 
you or me are going to New Zealand and we're leaving in four hours, and it's going to be you. No, it's not going to be me. In, in fact, if you decide to go with me, then yes, I will fly out of Las Vegas and meet you there in New Zealand. Sure. <laughs> okay, we have to come back. On, we have to come back on Saturday. I have the streamer awards. That, yeah, you'll be back in time for streamer awards. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to get you the soonest flight. Are you ready in two hours? Why is the time shrinking? Originally you said five hours and then four. And I'm just the worried thing. it's rush hour traffic. I live in Las Vegas. It's, it, it's not that bad. Rush hour adds like an extra 15 <clears throat> I think if we leave right now, we can get to the airport just in time. Wait, you're also coming to Las Vegas? Uh, I guess I could. I'll swing. I'll fly from LAX to Las Vegas. Look, I just feel like for us to have the flight to New Zealand is going to be. I think it's because there's a layover. It's going to be like 18 hours or something. So I don't think we'll have any time in New Zealand to get back by the streamer. We'll just be flying for about three straight days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> no. My answer is still no. Oh. But if you want to do an insane cross planet flight for some absurd reason or for no reason and it's a time where we are not at when we are not short of time then sure i will go with you okay probably maybe the end of next week i will fly to new zealand with you why don't you head to the airport just to be safe i'm not going to i mean just just in case something comes up i'd rather i'd rather be prepared no i need to pack i'm i need to pack i'm leaving i'm literally going to you tomorrow well, why would you... Wait, you're coming to me? Like, you're driving to LA? Yes, I'm flying... To, I'm driving Why to would you do that? I'm going to be in New Zealand. You're not going to be... <laughs> That's fine. You can go to New Zealand. <laughs> I will be there. <laughs> I, I, would just, I would just feel better over the next 48 hours knowing that you're on a flight to New Zealand. And I just feel like you're being a little bit selfish here, Park Street. Why would you feel better? That makes no sense. It's because it's kind of funny. No. <laughs> no, it is. There's so many other things you could do for comedy and humor. I'll what? dispatch somebody to New Zealand and okay. immediately recall them. Okay, I have a question. Would you, alternatively, if you aren't willing to go to New Zealand, like literally right now, um, would you wear a cologne called Jedi Horse from Burberry if I bought that for you on a routine basis probably not I need but sure I will wear it for like a day or two okay can I get a commitment from you that your neck that every time you show up on my stream for the rest of the year you have to be wearing the Burberry Jedi Horse that I bought you <sighs> okay <laughs> why <laughs> have you smelled it yet it looks great. So you, you don't know what it smells like. What are the tones that are listed on the, the purchase page? Um, horse. Horse is not a scent tone. Um, Adam Driver. Who is Adam Driver? Jedi? That is not... That does not help me understand what the hell of the I think you just gotta trust me on this. It looks really good. Okay. Um, I, I mean, look... You, you, at least two times after. You're gonna have a you lot of time to, to look up the scent tones of this cologne on your flight to New Zealand. You're gonna have like 36 straight hours. If you, if you remind me for the rest of the year to use the cologne whenever I'm a guest on your street, then sure, I will do it. Okay. You also commit to using it for a few days shortly after it arrives. For the imp so now I guess you took the off if I just used it when I was just at home or something. But I will also 
warned that I will use it when we go out somewhere. So like the next few times that we go to dinner or something together, I will use the cologne. Okay. But I cannot commit to longer than like a few instances or a week and beyond using it on during your stream. Gotcha. Because okay. I have a sensitive sense, sense <laughs> a, a sensitive sense of smell. Uh, so I have a limited scope of colognes that I can wear where it doesn't give me a headache. Mm. Alternatively, you could just buy me more of the cologne that I usually wear. No, no, no. Far more efficient and effective. No, no, we've decided that you like a Jedi horse. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> I'm not sure if that's for you and Twitch chat to do something. That is fine. We're very confident. Let's just okay. Let's put it to let's put it to a vote. Um, there's you, me, and nine thousand three hundred people in Twitch. Uh, it's quick vote. Does Parkshire wear like Jedi horse? Most people are just saying New Zealand. Actually, what is the premise with the I? What's the goal of your stream today? Um, something about cologne, I think. So this is not like a side. Thing. Your stream currently is dedicated to cologne. <laughs> yeah. You have 9,000-something people watching you about do something with cologne. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. We're smell maxing. I don't know what that means. All right, well, let's get to the airport, and then we'll kind of figure out what our options are from there. No! I, let's, <laughs> I'm not going to the airport. Can you just, I just do me this solid. You can pack at the airport. I can't pack at the airport. Oh, right. I have Forgot stuff you to don't. pack yeah, in no. my condo in Las Vegas. Oh, right, right. That makes sense. my condo with <laughs> the airport. Yeah, no, that makes more sense than what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I need to go. I have a flight in four hours. So, are you, you are you done? Done with what? This call. Y you, <laughs> you are the one who called me. Wait. So you are willing to go to New Zealand next week, though? Yeah. Like maybe like next weekend after Danny leaves. I, don't think I, have anything. I, mean, I do, but I can reschedule. Yes. Yeah. I'm fine going to New Zealand next weekend. Uh, you should cover the flight though. Okay, I I'm just sending you there, and you're then you're flying immediately back. Is that fine? Are you also coming with? No, I'm busy. Uh, then no, no, well, I'm not. Why going to not? Be by myself this is important. We need somebody to go on New Zealand Air. Just get somebody from Twitch chat to go to New Zealand. Uh, we could do one lucky winner flies to New Zealand and then back from New Zealand. I guarantee you there are at least like 24 people in Twitch chat right now who would be absolutely ecstatic to fly to New Zealand for you and then come immediately back just so they can say that they did it for you. So uh, I feel like I am relatively low in the priority list to dispatch to New Zealand. Okay. Also, is, this, is Jedi Horse only manufactured and sold in New Zealand? Probably. Yeah. Um, all tribe, Billy and Kate are all willing to go to New Zealand with you, by the way. So you don't, you don't need me. I'll ship, I'll ship a bunch of people out to New Zealand for the weekend. Just pack Wait, your bags and get to the airport now. So you're ready. I'm not going to go to the airport. Well, first of all, I don't need to go to the airport. Second, who is coming with me? Uh, like whoever. A oh, dark nuts into. Are, are you done? Wait, what about, what about nuts? Can I go? Y yes. You you could have left at any point in the past 12 minutes. Oh. All right. Uh, bye, Parkshire. I love you. I'll see you in in, uh, in New Zealand. Okay. Uh, wait, no. I'm not going to New Zealand. <laughs> God, what a, what a jokester. <laughs> love is... Uh, is Hilarious irony when he says, I'm not going to New Zealand. Um, okay, I'm not... What a silly guy, I know. Uh, yeah, 
I it doesn't I can't go I can't go to New Zealand next week. I have shit. I don't just I just drop everything and go to New Zealand. Um Okay. What am I doing? <clears throat> Buying Parkser Jedi horse. New Zealand vlog now. Buying New Zealand Air merch. Or at some point before I die, I will send Parkser on Zealand, a flight Douglas. to New Zealand. I have things I'm doing next week. Do a meet and greet at the New Zealand airport for like one hour, <laughs> then fly back. Okay. At some point... My dad works for Air New Zealand. I can get him to send you an umbrella or some shit. <laughs> sure, if you email me. Doug Doug at DougDug.com And I'll give it to Parkser for him to hold on to. While he dreams Look, about you his don't New have Zealand to go trip. To New Zealand now. You can go in like a few years for a convention or something. Okay. At some point in the future, before I die, I will Okay, we'll settle for you buying a horse. <laughs> no, it's I will send Parkser to New Zealand. I promise. I don't promise. This is probably not happening, but I swear to you I will make a sincere effort to make this happen. I can't believe Doug can't even keep his word with something as small as immediately going to New Zealand tonight. <laughs> I didn't. At no point did I promise to do this. Okay. Hey, Doug, now it's only $1,597 for the trip. Hey Doug, since you were so technical about the bingo, there were actually four bingos and not two, as stated on the bet, thus, this should result in no. Wait, well, I, oh, well, you can say, you can say rigged in chat if that helps. If you don't know what a keep cup is, it's a coffee cup you keep. That's what it is. Sauce, I'm kiwi. <sighs> That's why, why not just call it a cup? Okay, uh, texted Parks here. Great news, found a cheaper flight. Leaves from Vegas in two hours. It's a uh, 7.45 departure. It was a flash sale. Sale, so just booked it. Let me know if you need an Uber. I will take a trip to NZ for you like the dude who got a baguette from France for Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah, that's true. I would actually be able to go next weekend. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's financially feasible for me to just Perhaps send anybody who wants to go to New Zealand. It's so expensive. Site, like you pay for its care in New Zealand. Okay, I think he probably knows I'm joking. Let me see. Let's see what his response is. Parkza and Doug Doug go on a hot date to New Zealand reel. Hey Doug, today is my birthday. For my birthday would you admit that the final vote was, in fact, rigged? Well, we redid the vote. Okay. This is my conversation with Parcher. You can stay in my fart locker. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, great news. Found a way cheaper flight. Leaves from Vegas in two hours. It's a 745 departure. It was a flash sale, so just booked it. Let me know if you need an Uber. No. You don't need an Uber? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Go to the airport, Parker. What?
Are you done? I have to do it. I love pretending that he's the one instigating these conversations. <laughs> that I send Parkser to New Zealand because it won the Cologne commercial tier list. Oh, I'm busy. I gotta use Cologne. Okay, I don't think he's interested. Uh, um, well, that was the cologne. Wait, so am I not? We're not even buying cologne. That's the whole. The whole result of this is to not even buy cologne. Okay, we've decided that uh, the top colognes, according to how emasculated they make you feel. Are the Archer, Cologne, Germany, Scandal, Jedi Horse, and Flying to New Zealand. Thank you very much for participating in this episode of Doug. We've learned a lot. Uh, <laughs> Barry wants to go to New Zealand. <laughs> I'll send I'll send somebody to New Zealand at some point, okay? And there's a cologne company named named Frotter. Oh damn. Okay. All right. Uh, that is it for Doug. Thank you for Hi, watching. Doug. You do realize you need a visa for New Zealand, which takes like a week to request. Well, right? I don't even know if we're right. going into New Zealand. I think it's more we're just getting into the airport, and then and then they'll be like, "Oh, do you have a visa?" And then we'll say, "No, no, no, we're heading Can out. I have to catch a flight." To the streamer awards and take a real vacation. No, going to New Zealand. No, I have a lot of shit I need to do. Uh, um, I I don't know what you. I know like my job is weird and, and not like typical, but I, it's not easy to. J like to just drop everything and go to New Zealand just so people are aware. Uh, hello, Tilt Five. Just got home from work in New Zealand and I said some nice things about you on Twitter. Oh, cool! I will check it out. Country. Anyway, what are we doing today? Hmm. Yeah, be scared. The parkshire could arrive at any moment. Don't forget to unmute the vod. Oh, right, right. I need to unmute all the coffee. To yourself, dude. Probably a lot of this vod will get muted because uh, because there's so much DMCA stuff. You can just say it's a connecting flight. Connecting back to where I came from. In and out 20 minute New Zealand adventure. Don't forget to mention that you were flying to New Zealand to play electric guitar in the desert. With oh yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. I volunteer for New Zealand. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> for the country? <laughs> uh. I will go to New Zealand. I, I just you guys, I'm not like looking for volunteers. We have a parkster to send. Uh, okay. Uh, parkster is so sweet, ready to go to New, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah, I live there. Yeah, it sounds like he was. If he didn't have, we have, we have a friend visiting this weekend. If he didn't have that, it sounds like he would be willing to just pick up and go to New Zealand. Instead of, uh, okay. Um, you got to go now. It could be Old Zealand by next week. That's true. The time, the clock is ticking. I don't know why Parkster's being so blasé about this. Um. 
Speaking of being too busy to go to New Zealand, I do have, uh, what is it? The guys Collabs all next week. The would be so disappointed in you. They wouldn't turn down the opportunity to go on an air New Zealand flight. Just, just to be clear, <laughs> it's not free. I would have to pay for this. <laughs> you guys are talking as though because you guys you voted for it, I now have a free flight to New, to Zealand. New Zealand. It's like $2,000. dollars you can do the same courtesy and go with him next week. <laughs> Uh, okay. I, th I think a lot of you are maybe misunderstanding what happened. It's a tax write-off. That doesn't Didn't mean it's me free! From Philadelphia, I'll fly. Pick up cologne and bring it to the streamer awards. I'm gonna wear so much cologne to the streamer awards. It's tax deductible. Right, but that doesn't mean it's free. Yes, it does. It's Come literally free? New Zealand. It'll give you a Jedi horse. Is that where the Jedi horse was filmed? Ugh, um... The, the reason I can't go to New Zealand next week, despite the fact that I don't want to, is because I'm, I like, the whole week I'm doing collab stuff with other people or filming for Just new merch New things. Zealand sweepstakes for chat. Every factor meal we buy with code Skdug Doug enters us for a chance to win a trip with Doug to New Zealand. <laughs> I don't want to go to New Zealand. I think a lot of you are misunderstanding what the, the problems here. Okay, but you do still need to wear a whole bottle of cologne to the awards. I think various people would be upset at me if I did that. We didn't even buy the horse. Nobody even voted for the horse cologne. Uh, just go in the summer. I mean, I'd like to go to New Zealand at some point, but, I can but go not on your behalf. Passport and free time. I can yell rigged to represent our community. Yeah, we need to send somebody in New Zealand to yell rigged and then go home uh, because it's fake. Well, it's a real cologne. It's just not the commercial hey, is fake. Instead of an ice cream party, <laughs> you should send the mods to New Zealand. But like, I don't go. <laughs> I just ship the mods off. Ugh. We'll settle for you buying Rosa a ticket to New Zealand for her next birthday. I will ask Monterey Bay Aquarium. Okay, can we wrap this up? Can you stop donating money about New Zealand? <laughs> Do other stuff. Um. Bold of chat to assume there's any conventions here in NZ. Jedi horse is not real, but the horse cologne is real. It's just a parody of the commercial. Ugh. Can you come to Finland instead? No. Unless Air New Zealand goes to Finland. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, first time catching a stream and I wanted to say send Parkser to New Zealand slash see these nuts got him. Got him. Mods, take him out back. Um, Does Air New Zealand fly from like... Los hey, Angeles to Do Vegas. Do you even have a passport and tourist visa? Want to make sure this New Zealand trip happens and you don't cop out because of bureaucracy? I have a passport. I don't have a. I don't have a visa. Because if it could fly me for thirty Hold minutes, on. that counts. Puck says buying New Zealand. I didn't know he had that kind of money. Well, in this economy, New Zealand's pretty cheap. All right, you only need an E visa. We need to wrap this up. He has a flight to catch. If you pay for a flight to America, I will deliver some cologne. <laughs> Why? Wait, you said that one Kiwi gal. Are you in New Zealand? Wait, guys, does it count if I ship somebody from New Zealand to here? Does that count? We just have to ship somebody I mean, on a New Zealand you flight. Buy someone a ticket from Australia to New Zealand. To your house. It's probably not quite as expensive. I'll land it on the. Golden Cross. Um. Douglas, I considered myself a fan. I looked up to you as a truthful man. After not keeping your word and flying to New Zealand, I feel betrayed. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Okay, yes, fair enough. Uh, send a Kiwi to America. I, yeah, I don't know whether we... Laugh so much tonight, Doug. Been a rough day so far, but it's ending on a high note because of you. Thank you, but I don't even have cologne. Um... Do it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, does it count Genuinely, if, if I... a real trip to New Zealand at some point this year. How you many alerts are there about New Zealand? Three. Guys. <laughs> While you're there, can you get us all horses? Um, how much does a horse cost? Holy shit, there's like 30 the more... The fact that this stream started with a bit about Cologne, Germany, and we ended up going to New Zealand. We went as 180 degrees as possible on this one. How much does a horse I like cost? How Doug immediately dumped all of his burdens upon Parkser, truly the peak of masculinity.
For what it's worth Doug New Zealand is an amazing holiday location, if you want to go there in a year or two with time to plan. Oh, they fly to other locations. Hold on. Can you look at Jeremy Allen White for Calvin Klein? I think I'm going to call it here. I know there's other good ones. Wait a minute. Can I buy you the cologne instead? They fly. Hold on. They fly from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. If you stream at the airport in New Zealand, it will count as your job and you can write it off on your taxes so it will be free. All I had to do was buy something from Air New Zealand. I didn't have to go to New Zealand. Hello, Douglas. Douglas. Park Show, I have great news. Wait, you aren't already at the airport, are you, right? Have you left yet? No, I am not at the airport. Okay, we can get you a flight from Las Vegas to Los Angeles on New Zealand Airlines. Are you still streaming? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, what, what was the question? We're pu we're putting on you you on a flight from Las Vegas to New I mean to New Los Angeles. Wait, but, Las Vegas to New Los Angeles. I mean Los Angeles. Wait, they're saying that's not how it works. Is this wrong? Where we fly booking from? No, but or they're saying oh they fly from. Oh, sorry. Okay, now we got to send you to New Zealand. Huh? We, we, it looks like it looks like we can send you to New Zealand from either Las Vegas or Los Angeles. Correct. Those are both major airports. So yes, both of those would service New Zealand. I am driving oh, to you tomorrow anyway. I feel like you're forgetting this. I'm driving. I, I'm to not going to be. I'm not going to be at the Las Vegas airport. I'm driving to you, not the Las Vegas airport. Oh. You are in I Los Angeles. Tribute. I am driving. I have a visa. Tomorrow, from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. Why don't you just fly directly out of Las Vegas, though? That'd be more efficient. Because I'm bringing stuff to you in my pickup truck. Oh. And okay. I need my vehicle while I'm visiting you. In New Zealand? No, in Los Angeles. Tomorrow. Oh, right, right. Are you done? Can I, I need to work. You're not working. You're streaming. Okay. I mean, technically that is working. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm busy. Okay. You, you're the one who called me. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Doug, are you done? I have more programming to do in Train Simulator. Did you die? <laughs> Okay. That was, that was a good... I, we added like 10 seconds, what, maybe 15 seconds before we started the timer. That was pretty good. I think that is a new record. I thought you were waiting on like text to speech or like something had popped up. That, that's usually what it is when I when you stop talking for a while. It's like text to speech is running. So uh, like, oh, yeah. All right. Uh, one sec. Because actually, yeah. Okay. There's like four text to speech messages to get through. One second. I mean, I don't have to be on the call for that. Wait, just, just a second. Just a second.
Huh? What was that? <laughs> Shit! No, I typed a number accidentally! Oh, wait, and time. Okay, that was like 127 or so. That's new record for sure. <laughs> Anyways, um... Are you done? Can I go? Wait, 127 of what? <laughs> okay, I really, I actually genuinely need to end stream. I have to go do stuff. Um, a anything else you need? No, you you are still the one who called me. <laughs> right, right, right. Keep forgetting. I was right. waiting for your text to speak, so I started eating Doritos. Oh, oh. Douglas! <laughs> what are you doing? Did you open the stream? Somebody DM'd me. Oh. Ruining your joke. Oh, so I damn. opened your stream and I saw a timer <laughs> on your screen. I turned up the volume. There is no text to speech. There is no reason. I need to be on the call. Are you done? I have to go. <laughs> She said he doesn't have text-to-speech on. He's just trying to break your silence record, LOL. I replied, what? And then I opened your stream. And he, she said, he's just holding the phone to see how long he can make you sit there. <laughs> Doug, why do you hate me? <laughs> no, you're I'm the... not going to tell who snitched because you're all going to go and try to kill her. But there, no one is going to know who snitched. But, uh... Oh. Okay. Well... All right. Well, hey. I did waste a lot of your time. You can bill me for an hour. I'm not going to bill you for an hour. I, I could bill you for like one-tenth of an hour, I guess, if you really want me to. I would like that. Okay, I will bill you for one-tenth of an hour, or <laughs> however long this phone call has been. Okay, good. I appreciate that we keep it strictly business here. <laughs> Correct. Sure. Uh, okay, all right. I'm, I'm actually going to go and start ending stream. Uh, goodbye, Parkshire. I love you. Okay. Bye. Uh, okay. Doug, Doug, was I correct in hearing Parkser say that Billy Ray Cyrus bought you the cologne? <laughs> I think so, yeah. What's Parkser's hourly rate? I forget. He owes me a bunch of hours of work. Can we make for various you things. Parkser going to New Zealand a donation goal for the Rosa birthday stream this year? Maybe you could bring some other friends along too. I'm sure they'd love it. Maybe. Just arrived in New Zealand, and I'm scared. Save me, Daddy Doug. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how many of you guys just have gone to New Zealand in the time the stream has happened. Um, yeah, he owes me a bunch of hours of work, so I can actually have him bill me for things like this. Okay, I'm over it. Let's buy the horse cologne. No, I think at this point we're locked into New Zealand. At some point, we're sending somebody to New Zealand. I will do that when the opportunity is ripe. Once the air is ripe with the stink of opportunity. Doug, okay, stop donating money. I gotta end stream. Now. Maybe even in New Zealand. <laughs> Come on now. This is true. This is true. This is true. Uh, send Point Crow. I mean... <sighs> Fly from NZ to Cologne in Microsoft Flight Sim. I feel like Twitch chat wouldn't accept that. Wait, is Point Crow online anymore? Go to Cologne, Germany, then to New Zealand. I think he's offline. Easy. Can't ask him. I guess I could Discord him. Okay, well, these are going in. I'm going to ask Point Crow if he would let me send him to. Oh, shit. Why did the Kiwi bring a ladder to the bar? Because he heard the drinks were on the house, and he wanted to reach Diaz nudes hanging from the tree next door. 
Hey, would you go on a flight to hey, New the Zealand and in... my boyfriend to watch your stream? Nice. The Dug Dug ecosystem grows. We consume more and more human flesh and become larger and more uh, hey, Doug, uh, stronger pull of gravity. Fly to France and then fly to you. I hear that's a better flight path than just driving. It's true. New stream idea. Get Poxa to say I love you back. <laughs> we just see... That's <laughs> the whole stream. The stream ends when Parker says I love you. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't think he would ever, ever do that. Um, all right. New Zealand flies LAX to SFO at 1.15 p.m. each day. Flight 9,280. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, I missed Point Crow. Hey, would you go on a flight to New Zealand in five hours if I paid for it? Legit question. Depends when with my schedule, but generally less. Oh, like in five hours from now. Yes, 10.45 p.m. out of LAX. If I make it back for the stream rewards. Um, you'd arrive like an hour before the awards start. It'd just, just be 36 hours straight of flying. Wait, let me make sure this isn't... Did you see Aggie finally beat Randomizer no hit? The run was very poggies. I did. It's literally free? <laughs> I like the idea that if, uh, if hey, I... Hey, Doug, has anyone <laughs> ever told you that free, you look like the adorable from Oblivion? Okay, I'll let you know. We still have plenty of time to decide. I almost closed the stream back when the tier list ended. Holy, I'm glad I stayed. Timer number three had me rolling. <laughs> oh, no, I will be wearing earplugs and a night mask. I'm buying seats on separate ends of the plane. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this needs... I right, right, caught up on alerts. They were caught up on alerts. All right. All right. Okay, now I'm off stream. I had to kill time while TTS caught up. Okay. Thank you for watching this episode of Doug. This was very productive. At some point, someone will go to New Zealand. Until then, um, be sure to buy horse... Uh, horse cologne. What's that horse? Um, Just pause. What's that horse stuff that people are using during COVID? Ivermectin. Do you think? <laughs> do you think the horse cologne is just a bunch of ivermectin in a bottle? <laughs> you spray it on yourself. Uh, anyway, um. I, it's going to be a little bit before I stream. I might stream in the middle of next week. Um, but I we're filming for a... I'm coming out with new merch. It's going to be great. I'm excited. We're filming commercial for it. It might look similar to this. Uh, but that's... I'm doing that Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday and Friday I have collab stuff. So I might not be able to get a stream in next week. I am doing things and stuff and making content, but I will be busy. Uh, might get an A stream, but we'll see. A New Zealand stream so pog. New Zealand and then spend the whole time streaming on his channel. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so he can't. I get him on a flight to New Zealand, and then before, <laughs> then once he's out of the picture, then I start uh, streaming on his channel. Uh, Hollow Knight. I, I don't know. I'll do it at some point. I'm gonna keep playing it casually on my own for right now. Have fun in the Auckland airport. It's bad. Uh, here you can raid Point Crow. 
pretty sure he's offline. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, all. Very fun. See you next time for more Doug. Maybe next week. Otherwise, back to normal-ish the following. Oh, did I not pay out the prediction? No, I did. I did. Or somebody did. All right. Get on out of here, you little rascals. Uh, go say hi to Point Crow. Just again to reiterate, he's offline and you can't talk to him. Okay, bye.